the 2008 Norwest Polecats Rugby League Club, proudly sponsored by Primo Small Goods, RA Motors, Dremo Homes, The Taggart Group, Castle Hill Tavern, Rover Media, Castle Corp Real Estate, Cumberland Hyundai, Universal Telemarketing Services Cook's Plumbing Supplies McIntosh and Bowman The Costis Fish Market Celebrations Borkham Hills and the Hillshire Times Cold and wet conditions have set the scene for today's much anticipated clash between the Norwest Polecats and the West Sydney Blues in today's New South Wales Tertiary League First Division Grand Final. So, Ben, Grand Final Day. Clearly we've got two teams, a lot to play for, you know, wet conditions, everything like that. How do you think it's going to go? Yeah, thanks for that, Menzies. I think it's a bit of a David and Goliath clash today. Uh, putting our team as uh, David and uh, the other team as Goliath. They've got the big boys and they can go hard, but I reckon we've got the skill and can overcome them today. Fair enough. Where do you think the Polecats need to, like, what do you think they need to do in order to succeed in today's match? I think they have to hold on to the ball. I just hope that they can hold on to it, a few of the passes that go out. Um, but as long as it's not too much drop ball, I reckon they can get over and run into the gaps and just go hard. Fair enough. Who do you think we should be looking out for? Who's the key performance for both teams? Uh, key performance for both teams. I think uh, we need Gary to go forward and get, for him to go really hard. Um, and which, I, from Thursday night's training when we saw him down there, he looked like he was ready to go. Uh, from the other team, um, Nick, he, um, he's a bit of their playmaker, but as we've seen uh, a few weeks ago, he uh, couldn't hold on to the ball for much of the game. But uh, the other week when they played, uh, he held on to it a lot and they seemed like they pulled together. Hopefully these wet conditions mean Nick can't hold on to the ball this week and we get the upper hand. Yeah, well, hopefully that's right. So who's your tip for the game? Um, I'll be tipping the uh, Polecats, I reckon, with all their match experience and um, they've come across a lot of the game so far. Um, that yeah, we'll just get up, but I think it's going to be a tight game. I agree with that. I, I wouldn't be surprised to see this match going to extra time. Yep, the good call, Menzies. See how it goes. And now let's meet the Polecats. Arthur Haddock, same pass done that. It's Luke McDonald, Gossip Downies. Josh Byrne, Ben Carney, Bogger Bill of Brown Eyes. Scott Wolbein, Crab Lab Junior Reels. Garden, Hawksby Hawks. Michael Taddy, Hawksby City. Ben Farhim, Hills Bulls. Robert Williams, Hills Hawks. Dennis Everard, Fairfield Patrician Brothers. <laughs> Gary Windows, Blacktown City. Fred Allen, Blacktown City. BK, Penadil Stags. Brothers Ipswich. Tigers, oh yeah. Mary's Rugby League. Seba Curia, Tigers. Rah. Luke Davies, Baptist Charleston. Martin Buffer. One with Phil Leakes Club. Richard Brazati, Flattown Workers. Let's go live to McCready Oval where your commentators will be Troy Allen Mataggart, Ben Freef and Steve Menzies Birchall. And welcome to the 2009, 8, 9, 8, 8, Jesus we're getting close. We are, we are. <laughs> it's almost excitement time, the referee blows it off. 
And it's the police to kick off and they've gone shallow. It's taken nicely and here's Gazza having the first hit up and the police are slow to get there early. Good hit up first, good defence by the police. Gary gets up and plays the ball. Swings it out to... Uh, I cannot tell who that is from his shaved his head just recently. Yeah, it's Dennis. Dennis. Oh, oh Freddie has let the ball slip behind him. Oh, poor start by the Polecats there, unfortunately. Dennis Everard, next time you go and get your hair cut, like, can you come and please introduce yourself? Because I did not recognise you at all. He's decided because he's caught the rap from the refs recently that if he shaved his head, they wouldn't be able to identify him. But he's looking good, though, with that haircut. Dennis, well done, mate. The police win the scrum. They swing it out to the 5'8". Memo's been tackled just short, about 25, 35 metres out. They have a bit of a scoot by Big Tubby. Tub Tito charging on the ball with the pole catcher there in plenty of numbers. There's a bit of wrestling. The police, is he going to let... No, they get up and play the ball. Looking for runners. Where's Sir Nick? No, he's not in there early, but number... <laughs> Number 11 for the police is Tony. All right, sorry, it's Mark. <laughs> Looks like it's been a loss of the ball there. We don't know what's happened, but they're in it. All right, now here we go. Looks like a penalty to the police. They're ready to go again. Here we go. Polecats lined up, ready to get off their line. It's come through. Good tackle, good defence. This is really a testing time for the Polecats. Unless they perform, unless they hold the, pol the police out here, this could very much decide the trend for the game. Yeah, let's hope that they can keep them out. But let's see how we go. Police play the ball now. They've got it out to... Oh, it's scooted along the ground. Oh, it looks like a knock on there. Here we go. We've got the ball back, but that's no advantage to us, guys. Yep, Josh has been pushed out the there, so... Okay, there we come back. We're going to have a scrum 20 metres out of from the Polecats line. And they should have the ball here, we're hoping. We're waiting for the referee to put either his left or his right arm out. We're all praying for the left one. Cuddle's got the ball now. Looks like we've got the ball back. Okay, Cuddle feeds the scrum, looking for runners. <coughs> Mitch has taken it up hard. Well done, Mitch. Good job. Mitch plays the ball. Goes hey, off to Benny. Run there by Farham. Alan plays needs to act half. And there's, there's Everard with that fine haircut having another hit up just out wide. There they pick the ball up. McDonald's having a bit of a scoot from dummy half. Runs into some rock solid defence from the police. Allen into acting half. He's going to swing the ball out looking for runners. He's found little Benny who's been absolutely hammered. And I think it might find that. Oh, no, it wasn't Sir Nick. It was one of the smaller police officers. The Polecats put a kick down for the little winger of the police. He picks it up. Oh, good defence there by Josh in there. Numbers in for the Polecats. They wrestle him to the ground. They're about 42 metres out from their line, the police. They're looking for runners. They give it on to... Well, if it's not field, it's close to him. They're looking for runners. Ashtray at acting half. He swings the ball out, looking for Sione, who has a good hit up. Oh, has he dropped it? Polecats could capitalise here, but no. Yeah, we got the ball back. Freddie's voice has jumped up now. He's ready to go. He wants to get these boys pumped and across the line. He's pumped up. About to go in for the scrum now again. Okay, scrum. Smack bang on halfway, about 15 metres in from the western touchline. Cuddles to feed the ball. It's been picked up from the back of the scrum. Oh, and Robbie Williams has made a good 10 metres from the base of the scrum there. Fantastic run. Quick play of the ball. Oh, and Carney has knocked it on, unfortunately. The heads have dropped for the Polecats, but they've got to just think that it's only the first five minutes of the game, and there's a long way to go in this grand final. Encouraging signs, though, for that first set that the Polecats held on the ball, they made a good 60 metres before kicking it, so encouraging signs there. Their defence has been good. Let's hope they can keep it up. The police are just hit back now, running up, but that's been a really good hit by Luke there, the fullback. They're wrestling with him a little bit on the ground. Yep, no, he's about to get up. They've played the ball, almost lost that in the play of the ball. There we go, he has lost it in the play of the ball. Looks like Polecats get the ball back about 40 out and they're ready to go again. This is exciting times for the Polecats. This is probably their best chance to attack and get the first points in this grand final. We've got 35 minutes to go in the first half. And the Polecats defeat the scrum. They've got some kind of blindside player. Now they go open to Wallbank. 
Ball bank into the defence. Good three or four metres by Scott. They play the ball. He comes the acting half has a scoot out dummy half. He's going to hold on to it this time. They're 23 metres out from the line. Little Allen into acting half. Looking for Gary. Charging up. Good heat up. Good defence by Sir Nick in there. Numbers in for the police. Allen into acting half. Looking for his playmaker. Oh, there's a penalty for the pole catch. This could... Well done, it could be on here now. Freddie's got the ball ready to tap it off. Looks like I think it's maybe BJ with the headgear. Oh, he was clapping for it. He wanted the ball. We've just got to slow down a bit here. We've got They're going for the two. Okay. A very conservative play, but a smart play. In these wet conditions, every point is valuable. That's the Polecats. Two in front. Regather their thoughts. And, you know, try all over again. So, smart move. It's been an interesting first six minutes. There's been a lot of drop ball. I just think the team that holds on to the football the most in this game will win and win easy. It's just a matter of picking it up, probably from dummy half and having a few scoots and getting there. Menzies, what are your thoughts? Uh, look, I have to agree with you. I mean, both sides have shown poor ball control so far. But, yeah, as whichever side, yeah, takes control of possession from the start. Well, as Gardner takes his usual three and a half steps back and one to the left, he moves into it. Strikes the ball nicely, the touch judges like it, and it's 2-0 to the Polecats. Nice work, tops it off, here we go, two up to the Polecats. They're all running back now, ready to go again. Uh, but that's a good sign that we get a good start. Uh, first points on the board, that could be a bit of a mind game for the other team. Uh, let's keep it going. Yeah, pretty much what we're hoping for here is for the Polecats to get the ball in their own half and work it out nicely and a good kick on the end of it and keep the police down their end of the field. And Look, if the grand final's 2-0, we'll take that, won't we, boys? Of course we will. Totally agree. <laughs> the trick here for the Polecats is a simple set, possibly a scoot set. Just four up the middle and then just get a kick away. Put the pressure back on the police. That's right, Menzies. Just keep the ball in hand. Let's keep it safe in these conditions. You don't know what will happen. OK, here's police to restart the play. They drive it deep into the western corner of the Polecats. Gardner on to Gaza. As per usual, running up as hard as he possibly can. Met by some solid police defence. Here's Burns in that half. I'd say he's going to have a scoot. Off he goes. Oh, that's a good defence. They're all awake up to that. Everard in acting half. Looking for runners. Goes himself. Steps, runs, beats one, two. Makes a good 12 metres. They're 40 metres out from their own line. Gardering. Looking for BJ having his first hit up of the match. Well, Joe, just like you know, they're eight minutes into the game and this is your first go. Well done. Encouraging sign for BJ, though. He's already played seven minutes more than the last time they played the cops. So he should be happy with his performance so far. I suppose you could use that as an excuse for him to go missing early. I'll cop that. <laughs> Here come the police back again. Tackled heavily, pushed back. That's a good job by the Polecats. He's good again taking the ball, but another good tackle. Wrapped him up, pushed him down to the ground. Still about 12 out from their line. And we're going to have to go at Alimi, guys, and so say that's got to be the biggest winger I've ever seen play the game. I totally agree there. He's a big boy. He's the only having hit up, and it's good yards to pole catcher there in numbers. They're playing the ball back to Ashtray, looking for his runners. Oh, no, he's going himself. Kicks out. It's not one of the greatest kicks you'll see. Arthur Henner's not real keen about getting onto it. He must be a bit cold out there on left hand side. Hasn't been much play going out his way but he's picked it up he's gone around two three of the big tubbies and gone to the sideline and he's done well to stay in. okay made good yards oh, oh a knock on unfortunately it was a shame they made great yards off the kick return a good 30 meters i don't think you'll find that was rob williams that had the hit up it was the bloke that likes to call him Luke, the ladies' man, McDonald. Oh, my apologies. My apologies, Mr. Williams. My apologies. <laughs> okay, they packing your scrum down about 45 metres out from the police line. Will the police defeat it? All we need now is a good set of six to hold them out. OK, on to the biggest centre I've ever seen playing the game. I'll tell you what, these police have got some blokes playing out of position. So Nick in acting half, what's he going to create for the team? Wasn't a bad hit up by Adam. 
Oh, he's got the penalty too. They've called a grapple tackle. I don't know about that, boys. Here we go. The, the guy said it's around his head. Oh, yeah, I would agree with that. I don't know about that. That's a bit soft of a bit of a soft tackle, and uh, looks like police putting their hands up for a head high. But they've kicked it out now. Looks like they're about to regain it, try to go in. Um, but hopefully this Polecats defence can hold it up for a bit longer. At about 25 metres out, you'd say this is the police best chance of the game. Don't know if they've got any set plays organised. Certainly taking their time with the tap though. Good for the Polecats, allows them to regather. Hopefully, okay, here we and go. Sione having up. the first hit up, the Polecats are there in numbers and got him down, good tackle. Everard and PJ in there. They swing it to the right. On the who has a good solid hit up with the Polecats are there again. They're about 15 metres out from the Polecats line. Acting half of them. Oh. Great crunching tackle there by the Polecats. Pushed him down, back on his back. Plays the ball back. Trey on to the biggest halfback you've ever seen. Being brought Close down the short. They're about one metre short. Polecats at their upper ear. They swing it to the left. On to... And Warbank cleans up and gets it back into the field of play. No, he doesn't. That's a gold line dropout. Not a bad move, buddy. Tried to get out of there. Safe play. Grabbed the ball. Wrapped it up. And that's really good for him. But here we go. Dropout's about to go now. Police are getting set back. So we've got Tadic doing the dropout. Okay. Long, uh, along the ground there. That's all right. Slow take out by the police. So it allows the Polecats to get there. They're about 35 metres out now. They're pushing him down on the ground. Yep, they're out of it now. Here we go to the next play. Running it up. Another good uh, tackle by the Polecats there. Keeping this defence up well. Just got to watch out. Nobody slips through. Here we go. Big bopper. He's pushed off one. He's got about three on him. Putting him down on the ground now. That's good work. Looks like it might be about at the third now. So probably got about two to go. Polecats, oh no. Drew a dummy to number 20, he's in under the post. The police are in for their first four pointer. And it was Lee, that was the danger man that they talked about at training earlier on during the week. He was the man they had to shut down and he has just stepped off the left foot and gone past some feeble Polecat defence to score under the post and look like making the score 6-2. As Bob raised before the game, the one thing the Polecats really had to work on was their marker defence. And again, the markers were slow, giving them quick metres. And look, Lee just took advantage of it. And unfortunately, one other player misreading it, ran straight past him. Easy points. But it's all right, Polecats will bounce back from this. Well, Leo lining up the kick. The last time I saw these two teams play together, I think you'll find the third. Nick was goal kicking and I think from memory he had 100%, so it's a bit harsh he's lost the goal kicking duties. It's all about politics. All politics. Yep. We all know that. <laughs> it's just happened to get five or six tries under the post. Anyway, moves. It's right in front. All he's got to do is pretty much just raise the right leg and throw it towards the ball, and it should be two points. And he hasn't made it look pretty, but he's got the two. Yeah, like you said, Troy, as in grand finals before, sometimes those kicks in front ain't too easy. Um, but he's popped this one over, so good job. I remember uh, back in the 06 grand final, uh, by the name of Hardman, uh, had one almost in front, and unfortunately it didn't pop over. But it looks like the police have wrapped it up in this one. Shane, the Polecats lost by two that day. But anyway, in the 14th minute, we've got West Sydney Blues up six. Polecats two. Thanks, Darren, for that loss. <laughs> Mitch to kick off here. Oh, there's a good he's job, great work there. It looks like he's lost that and it's gone over the sideline. Great defence by the Polecats. Looks like we're going to get the ball back now and hopefully we'll start going uh, forward and going over their line. Oh, that was a perfect answer, guys, to a try. Now we're on the attack about 20 metres out. This is exactly where you want to be. All we've got to do is pretty much hold it on for five tackles. If we don't score, roll it into the end goal and go again. That kick and chase was true sign of the character in this club. I mean, even even though they were down and all that, everyone ran up after that kick and, and put guard the pressure on. For, uh, all. Okay, the pole catch are being wrestled to the ground. Carney plays the ball. Alan, Alan passes it to Luke. 
Luke, Luke, too flat-footed. Luke, the ladies man, McDonald, who likes to be known as two guys, just quietly. Alan to Robbie Williams. Robbie, oh, got past the first defender, but um, he's still going. That was a good run by Robbie Williams. Alan in acting half, looking looking for his playmaker. He looks left, gives it off to Taria, who has a good hit up. They're about 10 metres out from their line. They're looking for runners. They're going to go left. They swing the ball that way. On to Gardner. Gardner, oh, nice ball. Oh, nearly through the gap. Fifth and last now. They're, let's see what they do with this kick. Or let's see if they'll run it. There we go. Freddie's put a little one through. Stumbling around for it. Got the ball. And just like you said, Troy, we need to get it in that goal so we get the drop out and we can go back again. That was a perfect set of six, guys. It's all you need to do. If you can do this for the whole half, it's very hard for the other team to score. Old cats are regathering now, getting back. All the police are on their line. Looks like there's a few uh, tired legs out there at the moment. Here comes the dropout. Looks like it's going to go to uh, Dennis or Mitch. No, Mitch has picked it up. He normally goes back hard. There we go. First one. We've made a few metres on that one. Looks like we've got Josh here. Going to do a scoot. Yep. Okay. Josh throws the dummy. Makes a good five, six metres. Encouraging run. Okay, let's settle and get it out to the forwards. To Tadic. Tadic passes... To Taria. Good run by T. Straight towards the centre of the post. Alan in Dackling half finds the ladies man. Ladies man inside, outside, onto E. Oh, great cover tackle. Oh, hang on, there's a bit of a drama here. Oh, it's a penalty to the Polecats. What do they do E? I believe he was offside. I think that's what the refs called. So they were too quick on Carney. They know he's a danger oh, man. No, that's oh, no, that's a problem. Tuffy's that's a ball. Tuffy's put it down, unfortunately. Looks like the police will get the ball back now, but um, we're in a good position and hopefully we can keep them down here. They don't get too big of a kick away and we'll come straight back at them again. It's mistakes, fellas. It's all it comes down to, mistakes. It's a simple game, this one. Hold on to the football and you nearly always win. Bogats would have to be a little bit worried at the moment. They've only completed two of their six sets of six so far, so they really need to work on their ball handling. Oh, good hit, McDonald. Lovely. That's what the ladies come here to see, mate. There's a police play the ball there, working it out. Nick charging it up. He's, that's a voluntary tackle, sir. That should be almost a penalty. As, as the police play the ball back. Onto their big man to work it out from the ruck. Sione having his... He's had plenty of hit-ups, Sione. He's probably been the police best. As they on Trey looking for the clearing kick from Lee. It's only gone a few yards down the field. This is a good attacking opportunity for McDonald. Picks the ball up, makes it back to about the 42 metre mark. Hannah into acting half. Is he going to look for support or go himself? He picks it up and scoots. Goes about 15 metres through the middle of him. All wrapped up in a big hit. Big hit there by Onardi, but he made a good run. Made a few metres there. Now they've popped it off. Uh, here goes Josh again. He's making a few more metres. Good job. But Nick's taking him down. All right, we go up to play the ball again. Freddie's in there ready to go. He's flicked it out to Cuddles. Cuddles to Rob. Oh, it's popped out by Rob there, unfortunately. Looks like we're going to another scrum. Again, ball handling is... Again, yeah, Rob Williams, we need him to have a big game. He was our best when they played against the police last time. Just all catching some breath now, ready to pack this scrum. Still got the police down in their own half. Hopefully we can keep it there again, force another mistake, and hopefully we can go over the line. But uh, a few good defences by both teams, but just too many mistakes at the moment. Leading under one of the enormous wingers, Dave. Nixon plays the ball back looking for runners. They've made a few changes to the police, and I can tell you having that hit up was Brett. To play the ball back to Trey. Trey offloads to it to the starting prop forward. Probably still because he hasn't done much. But Sir Nick shows and goes, and he makes himself about six or seven metres. I, I tell you, what, he's working for the penalty. Trey plays the ball, looking for, looking for runners. I tell you what, he's pretty, pretty mobile for a big fella. Lee. Definitely is. I mean, he's clearly the danger. Well, as raised before, he's the danger man for the police side. Great take by Josh there. Josh runs it back, makes a good 12 metres. Good kick return. Yeah, rock solid return. Josh, good work. Wall banger in act now. Pull his scoot. Yes, he does. Goes down the blind side. Not a very good. Oh. Lucky he slipped over there. 
TRY time from your old mate. Hand up with a hit up. They're trying to hit hard to the police. They're in there in numbers. Hand to play the ball about 55 metres out from his own line or 45 metres from the police line. Uh, Tario with his fourth hit up. And he's made good yards to beating players and Willen got yeah, absolutely good job by Tuffy there, but a hammered by a bell ringer. That was a massive tackle by Big Brucey. But as we know, Tuffy will take it straight back to him again. That hit will do nothing to him. He'll dust it off his shoulder and come back just as hard next time. Cuddles with the ball. Puts a little kick in. Here we go. They're chasing. They're chasing. Can he get over? The police kick it out. A bit too much pressure there. Good kick. We're going to get the return again. And that's what, what we say, guys. It's all you need to play for. That's perfect rugby league in this condition. Yep. Polcats have seen a lot of the police uh, police's half in this uh game at the moment they keep on pushing them back down there hopefully with these big forwards they're going to start getting tired before this defense uh, and we can get one over them if we look at the stats about 70 73 percent of the game being played in this half so it's important that the polecats hold on the ball and convert this pressure into points against the police little benny there had a good run he got bumped off by one of the guys but he kept on going forward those guys need to get around the legs and uh, go hard otherwise we're going to end up in there well royce has been possibly the best performer for the Polecats this final series. Oh, and we've got a strip. Yes, Bruce sp Bruce there for the police. Try to slip in a sneaky one and pull that out. But the touch judge on this side of the field was jolly on the spot. We've decided to go for the two again. Juro's come out with the signal from the sideline. Um, hopefully we can pop this one over, make it 6-4. If we can win this game by kicks, we'll take it. Just as we wait for them to line up the kick, isn't it encouraging the touch judges in the first great game are man enough not to wear ponchos running up and down the sideline? I mean, what do you think about this, Troy? <laughs> I think a poncho is very, very necessary in those conditions. <laughs> I'm here to tell you, it is freezing, it is cold, it is wet. Excuse the French, but it is piss poor conditions for football. <laughs> Totally agree with you there, Troy. Lucky we're un under an umbrella. We didn't get the box today, but uh, we were under an umbrella at least. Yeah, now um, I thought the Parramatta Stadium facilities were a little bit better than this, but unfortunately they're not. Uh, Mitch goes to the kick. Oh. And it's converted. That makes the score. Six points to the West Indy Blues, four points to the Polecats after 23 minutes. Yeah, little Freddie out there talking the team up again. Um, the coppers are starting to walk back now. Like we said, hopefully they're getting a bit tired from all this defence on their line. Um, but let's just see if we can go forward from here. Yeah, I don't know if that was the right play, guys. I probably would have pushed for a try there, but we've had plenty of football down there. We're not coming away with much except for a couple of penalty goals. It's all right, though. If the Polkats keep in this, they've got the superior fitness over the Blues. So I, th I think that's the game plan. Look for the second half to come out. Yeah, exactly. We can always put in the Troy McTackett field goal if we have to. <laughs> They've gone for the uh, Rugby Union kickoff there. A little bit short, but it's gone straight to, uh, looks like McDonald again. Yep. Uh, and he's taken it back well. Yes, no, McDonald read that extremely well. Oh, and what we have a call up here? Well, they're, they're pulling out number nine from the police. Um, not sure what happened, unless there was something a little bit niggly in that tackle there. Number 20 is getting pulled over too. Let's see what happens here. Police are getting back on their line, even they look confused. Polcats taking yeah, a little break really here. Sure here. Police, police seem to be going to get penalised though. It's going to give us a little piggyback out of uh, the danger zone, which is very handy. Tadish kicks it. Very easily finds the sideline, makes a good 15 metres. And here we go. We've got Alan to do the tap, 20 metres in. Hey, and we've got a little bit of delay as the ball's gone under a RAV4. No, no, it's alright, it's come out now, so it's alright, we can continue play. That was a big kick to get it out of O'Connell Street too, just quietly. Hey, Tadic, that's a toughie. T oh, Taria, good hit up, rock solid, right, buried right on the middle of halfway. Allen in acting half, looking for our... Oh! Oh, oh Bruce is absolutely hammered in! What a bell ringer, guys! What do you think that brings to the grand final? Oh, it's a big hit, and we need those kind of hits in the grand final, but hopefully these polecats turn around and just give it straight back to them. Yeah, well, it was all for no avail because the referee has given away a penalty, so the big units killed no one for nothing. Oh, I mean, we all know. Bruiser.
So he was clearly offside and fortunately the referees pulled that up. Yes, yep, I'm pretty sure you'll find there was a radar out there. <laughs> <laughs> Robbie Williams will be feeling every inch of that hit because I can tell you I'm feeling it at the moment. Full credit to him though, he got straight back up and he was ready to run again. So here we what go. What else could he do? He pretty much bounced. <laughs> Duffy makes the hit up again, good 10 metres. Police area numbers, but I'll tell you what, the pole catcher in the best position in the field, they're about 35 metres out, and here he comes again, Robbie. Oh, I'll tell you what, he's tried to pull another hit off him, but like good footballers do, a little shimmy, and away he goes. Totally agree with you there, Troy. Look, he's got straight back up, he's got straight back into the play, he's got the ball again for the second time after that big hit. That didn't touch him at all. That was a great offload by Gary there as he's been tackled. So here we go, we got it out to Gardner. Gardner runs Gardner in. looking for... Oh, oh Wallbank. Wallbank. Oh, intercepted. Wallbank like who's handling his son there. He should have attacked the football a little bit more there. But uh, promising that Josh read it well. And look, Josh has been involved in the first two tackles. Fantastic effort there by the winger. Polecats moving up and hitting hard. Good work, Gary. Trey in Acme Half looking for his runners. Onto the 5'8", I'll tell you what, when you can't see the numbers of these police, you don't know whether they're 5'8", prop forwards, wingers, prop forwards, centres, prop forwards, fullbacks. I can tell you they're all built like prop forwards. I think they had a forwards only recruiting policy for this season, so that could oh, be... The police are away down the left hand side of the right hand side of the field, but good tackle there by Gardner coming across the field. The police moving out. Goes for a bit of a, I don't know what you want to call that, but it wasn't even young, but oh no, that is... A tragic, tragic mistake at the wrong end of the field by the Polecats. But it's going to happen in these conditions. Just in the back play, it's interesting to see the number two for the police is receiving some um, urgent medical attention. I wonder what happened there. Well, <laughs> you must have tripped over a pothole. Now, it looks like we're held up here for some reason. I wonder if it's for that number two who was in the back play. <laughs> um, but yeah, they're about to jump in again and uh, let's just do it all over again. 6 for the scoreline and uh, what a close game this is. That score really does resemble the game at the moment. Yeah, 6 4 and uh, the police are on the attack here, which is a real concern because they haven't been in this end of the field much and each time they seem to come down here, they seem to clock up some points. So let's hope that the Polecats defence is solid and held them out. Just in the back play though, I mean, there needs to be asked some questions. Number 17 was interchanged there in the scrum allowed to make interchanges there so be very interested to see if Mr Lennox super coach is you know asking a few inquiries about that let's hope not because it's quite embarrassing when we nitpick like that this number 17 is a bit of a Jonah Lomu good defense by the Polecats the police are about 23 meters out they play the ball to the left hand side Trey comes out good tackle there by Royce Simmons playing in his fourth grand final they go to the right hand side Good short ball. Oh, they tried to offload it, which was a silly move. I've tried to tell you people. But it looks like they've forced the pass. Looks like they've lost it there, Troy. Um, yeah, they got the tackle in. Wet conditions again. It looks like the ball slipped out. Ball will go back to the Polecats now. And that uh, great uh, advantage that they had down on their line looks like it's just slipped away. Yep, that was a brain explosion. We just needed Benny. That was perfect. Considering the position on the field and the conditions, it possibly wouldn't be too bad for the Polecats, you know? Three hit-ups now and just get a kick away, just to get that field, just to get the, pole, the police side back into their own half. I don't think I could have put it any better myself, Menzies. That's all that needs to happen. Just get to the fourth tackle, drive the kick down, and work from there. I'm sure you would have started less, so you possibly could have put it better. <laughs> well, Arthur Hen has been roughed up again. But yeah, it looks like he gets up and plays the ball back to Everard. Everard looking for Gary. I can tell you what, this is the third tackle and they haven't gone far, the Polecats. They might have to look to swing it a little bit wider. Maybe one off the ruck. But Tario has his next hit up. He's always rock solid. That's a great first run by Tario there. He's just made a few metres, injected himself into the game. He's jumped back up. Looks like, oh no, Robbie was on the right for another Jeez. run. But Carney's gone through. He's put a little kick. Oh, he's been taken it's out. Got to be a penalty. Got to come yeah, back here. Here we go. Freddie was chasing it anyway, but... Here we go. Back to the game again, and he's going to we'll kick that out. It's got to be a sin bin here. That was almost a professional foul. It's good to see Carney finally warming into the game. He was clearly one of the Polecats' best against Sydney Uni, and he's sort of been a little tentative today, but no, it's fantastic. That run was amazing. And the kick, I mean, if he wasn't illegally taken out, who knows what the score might be now. This is uh, Everard having a hit up. 
just charging into the fence, but the police there put him down. Good old turtle tackle. Allen trying to call the shots from back to half. On Atario, who's always hitting the ball up as hard as he possibly can. He's brought down about four or five metres short. Luke he's running in. Oh. Coming in. Oh, Carney's gone himself. Oh, Carney's got to be close. Okay, Allen into acting half. Does he go himself or does he swing it? He goes himself. He's going to score. Oh, oh he's dropped it. Penalty. Penalty. Nice work. Nice work there. Penalty to us. Looks like uh, Freddie. He almost got it over the line there. If we had a close up, that would be great. The referee's just about had a gut full of these niggling tactics from the police, and I don't think it's going to be far off before one of them goes to the sin bin. I agree. I mean, that's possibly about the fifth time this game that the police have not been square at the play of the ball and they've just run early. The ref's been quite lenient on them, to be perfectly honest, but at least now he's stamping down, so... Let's hope this uh, referee lays the law down and doesn't let the police do it. All right, looks like they're having a chat to him now. Let's see how they go. Freddie's there, ready for the tap. Some of these police are down on their knees. Looks like they may be getting a bit tired, these big forwards. He's going to pull out the old sneaky quick tap and place the ball over the trial. Oh, I'd love to see that. Uh, That'll bring the back the fans. <laughs> I don't know, possibly the smart option, you know, take it back 10. Okay, 20 metres in. It's all right. Let's hope his ball handling is a little bit better than that one. But okay, no, here we go. Charging into the defence again. Met by a rock solid defence, but he's about 33 centimetres short. Alan, will he go again from acting half? No, he's low. Put on a bit of a play for Williams. All right. Looks like they were trying the Lazarus play there, but they didn't have the other runners, which is a bit unfortunate. Oh, Robbie Williams, eh? At least... Oh, McDonald charging into the defence. The police, they're right on their line. They're holding out at the moment. The Polecats, they've got about two tackles to go. They've gone the blind side. On the wall bank, good pick up wall bank. Well done, that was well gathered in on the end of a big hit too, but done well to hold on to the football. They've gone blind side. Josh charging into the fence, oh, forward, forward pass, silly play. can see what they were trying to do there, but there was never the space for Josh to score another try. I mean, even if the pass was backwards. Yeah, no, I have to agree with you. It was a silly play. You should have never went down that side. You had the whole field to work with on the left-hand side. You know, sometimes the Polkats were all about their surprise attacks. Um, so if that came off, we may have told a different story. But unfortunately, in this case, it's gone back to the police. Starting to work the it off their line to work again. Out. Oh, good hit. Gardner was rock solid with a big shoulder hit on them. Moves out. Oh, another hit from Gardner. He's coming off the line at a rapid pace to pull off shots. There's a police trial working out from round line. They're about 15 metres out. Picked it up from McNuff and scoots out of dummy half. He's met by three or four pole cats. He's driven back two metres. He only made about a metre there. The police, they work back out there. Only doing the one-up hit-ups. So oh, good hit-up from the police. They're only about 30 metres out now. They're going to need a good kick here. It's just so known to back play. Lukey's moved to centre and Warbank's moved to fullback. I wonder if that's a tactical move or if Lukey's injury is playing problems with him again. Well, just for the team's sake. Oh, I, good work good. by Luke. For the team's sake, I hope Warbank is back there because he wants to make one of his inspirational runs because we don't need to lose him the ladies, man. That's a good hard up defence there by the Polecats. He's quickly grabbed him just as he catched the ball um, and it pops straight out again. But it uh, looks like we've got the return here for us. They try to get the kick away. But to Everard, Everard's jumping through again. He's a tough guy, this bloke. He keeps on going forward and forward and forward all day. So, play the ball. Alan's got it. Passes to Gary. Good run there by Gary. Makes a good solid eight metres. He does it all day, Menzies. He's all day. Amazing athlete. Tadic. Passes to Roycey. Roycey back inside to Robbie Williams. Great run there. Robbie Williams probing beautifully behind the markers there. Alan to Royce. Royce runs. Oh, Royce oh. Runs, into, runs into a bit of a brick wall, but he'll get back up. He'll bounce up and play on. Tadish. Gardner. Richie. Oh, Richie's on the field. Richie, our second grade champion. Look at him. Come on, Blair. Okay, Alan. And uh, Tolic puts a little bit of a kick in. A repeat set here would be nice. Uh. Unfortunately, a little bit deep. Let's the police off with a 20 metre tap and they can work it out with three or four good hit ups and a kick and work us into half time. 
Good idea though, good idea. I mean, you can see what they're trying to get at, repeat set. I mean, there's still seven minutes to go. Keep the coppers down this side. There's no reason, you know, try one not pop up. That's exactly what I would have done, guys. Just unfortunate she was a little bit deep in these conditions. Totally agree there. The first three times they've tried it, we've seen like we've got it hit. and we've got the return. Um, but unfortunately, in this case, we've lost it there. But uh, police play it again, trying to work out of their own half. And Carney just, uh, not Carney, sorry, Cuddles under there, uh, almost got uh, squashed by that bloke. Actually, it was Carney, you got it right the first time. Uh, <laughs> okay, so he plays the ball. On two, oh. apparently, Mayo's almost gone through, passing off to Bruce. Bruce looking for runners, the police are away! They've got one to beat on to Ash! Try! Try to the butt, next to the right end, upright. Lovely. That was again caused by slow markers and the defence not shifting across. It just opened a huge gap for the middle and they took advantage of it. I mean, fair credit to the West Sydney Blues, but it's disappointing for the, the amount of pressure the Polecats have put on. Should be behind like this. Yeah, I think... Um, <coughs> Bob Lennox, the Polecats coach, probably just about can't wait to get him in for half time. This is not the way he probably would have expected him to play in these kind of conditions. Oh, we really need to, I think, probably push it off one off the ruck and have a couple of hit-ups off the halfback and try and get around these big fellas because we're not going to go through them. Yeah, with uh, all the kind of uh, possession that we've had down near their line, I'm surprised we haven't gone over. It just looks like uh, this police defence has kind of kept them... Uh, kept him in the game at the moment. Uh, with all those chances that we've had down there, we could have gone over plenty of times. Okay, so police try and convert this to make it 12 points to four. It's about four and a half metres to the right hand side of the upright. Surely he has to get this one. You wouldn't get a much easier kick. Well, you'd think Ronnie could miss this. Anyway, he leans back. Has a bit of a shimmy couple of shimmies, a bit of a shimmy back, a bit of a shimmy forward, moves in, one, two, three, four, hits the ball, leather perfect. So in the 36th minute of the game, it's the West Sydney Blues 12, Polkats 4. Well, we really hope for a mistake down here, just like the last time the police scored. We need a mistake, we need to work for the mistake, and a good kick off here, get the players down there in numbers, and just work for that, and we should be all right. Should be. Mitch goes again, going left hand side. <laughs> Kicks a little bit further this time. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Bit of a dummy there. Oh. Oh, Luke plays the ball back. Come on, Luke. Matter of fact, guys, just want to bring to your attention number 16 for the police. Probably shouldn't be here this week. I don't know, if you ask me, it's very, very, very lucky not to get a couple of weeks suspension after the last time I played. That's right, Troy. After that little bit of uh, fiddle around the groin area uh, against uh, Carney that week. Yeah, very surprised that he's back this week. I'm sure he should have... Um... Oh, hold on. That was a terrible play of the ball by the police, and that's the mistake the Polecats were looking for. Let's just hope that we can capitalise this. We need to get into some broken play. We've got the pace to do it. We just need to get that open spaces to be able to produce it. Very interesting to see how the forwards are used this time. It's possibly the first time, well, second time in the game, actually, we've had both Gaz and Richie out there. So, I mean, we've certainly got our only big boppers out there. See how they used. Under Williams, under the ladies' man has a good hit up. He's uh, Alan into acting half. Looking for Richie. Richie just charges onto the football. Oh, oh great good offload. offload. Good offload. Yeah. I mean, Alan probing forward, McDonald's really left with nothing except to get hammered. That probably wasn't the best pass for him. Alan probably should have taken the tackle. He looks for Tollich. Oh, he's running into a brick wall of defence. He probably should look for Gardner and then on a wall bank. As Mitch picks it up, Gardner goes to the line, puts a little bit of a kick on. I don't think much, many people knew what was on. The winger cleans it up and... Almost a voluntary tackle there by Jonah Lomu. A little bit disappointing for a guy that size, having Josh running at you. I mean, no, no disrespect to Josh, but... Well, I do take disrespect to that because I'd be nervous if Josh was running at me. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the piggyback out of the own half that we wanted. Go, 
All right, police about to kick it out here. Um, it's coming straight at me. I better watch out for that one. Oh, there we go. He's almost hit me in the groin. But, um, yeah, throwing it back in now. Menzies, that's your first touch of the ball today. Good job, buddy. I was about um, to say, Freaky, that's still no catches for you this year. Yeah, so that just adds to the list, adds to the list, Troy. <laughs> right, police about to tap off here, ready to go again. Got one of their big boppers dumbing it, but they've thrown it out to go to their tallest man on the field. Yeah, I tell you what, I think he plays for the Tigers, that bloke, doesn't he? Isn't his name Galloway? As Galloway plays the ball, looks on the short pass on instant. I'm pretty sure shouldn't be there. Interesting. The ball back. Interesting to see the very, very flat passes the police are introducing into their game plan. Well, wet weather football flat passes is what you need. As long as the hands are pointing backwards, you're fine. Uh, I think you're being very diplomatic with a couple of them there, but that's all right. That's all right. Puts the kick in. Wallbank watches it over the sideline. I think he's looking for half time because he knows that they need to get in and be addressed by the coach. 39th minute of the game, possibly about four tackle, four to five tackles left. Odd pick. Yeah, I think they're the going to be slowly to get to this scrum, and I wouldn't be surprised if this scrum almost winds in the half time. Well, they'd be lucky to be one or two tackles after the pole gets not real keen to get there. The police aren't rushing. Possibly half worth sending out wide to Carney and leave to do one of his chip and chases again. To be entertaining. Definitely. But on to McDonald. Oh, McDonald, he's... Every time he's had a go. Oh, great pass away. That's it. It's Robbie Williams, I believe, in the tackle there. Uh, uh, Tim. Allen to Richie. Richie. Bit flat, Richie. Oh, but he's still, mate, great yards. He's through. Yeah, good run, Richie. This, we've got probably two more tackles to go. And there's a scoop. One of them's going to be one. And a there's Carney. Uh, What's the fullback going to do? Something crazy? He has. No, it's... Not he has back. done something crazy. Oh, oh, oh my gosh, he has had a brain explosion, the fullback. It should almost be a penalty try. I think it does look like we may have a penalty here. Uh, we might go for the two points and that'll... Uh, I don't know, guys. To... If you ask me from where I come from, that was nothing but penalty try. We would have scored if that guy didn't... He had nothing to do with the play. He should have stayed out. He did. I mean... It's a little disappointing. Nothing was said of the fact Carney was taken out again when he kicked it, but full credit to him. He bounced back up and was one of the leading of the chasers. So, but if we can go into half time here, if we put this kick over, um, uh, looks like we may be running it. But if we can put this kick over, 12 6 at half time, only one try behind. Benny, you'll be happy to know, mate, we are taking the two points. Thanks, Troy. <laughs> so, Mitch, so far 100% record for today, averaging about 89% for the season. He's had a pretty good kicking record since he's taken over from Luke I don't know but all I know is if I was Mitch I'd be saying police 12 Mitch Gardner 6 oh, that's a fair call that's a fair call like I said earlier about these kicks in the grand final sometimes the pressure's on here we go he's lining up now on his two steps to the left let's hope for a pop over his heart must be pounding there we go long straight and hard straight between the post 12-6 half time thanks And here we are at halftime in the 2008 New South Wales Tertiary League First Division Grand Final. It's the West Sydney Blues 12, Polkats 6. Looking at the scorers at halftime, we have the West Sydney Blues with two tries through for the Polecats who yet to cross the white line. At the conversions, Mitch Garner has converted all three goals to give the Polecats their six points, while Leah Clark has converted both attempts in front of the uprights. Now as we head back to the field, we'll hear all the action from Troy Allen Mataggart and Ben Freef. Welcome to the second half of the... 2008 Tertiary Grand Final, where Polecats find themselves six points behind, kicking off. Let's hope they bury themselves deep into the corner. I'll tell you what, if Menzi knocks me beer over there, there's going to be some trouble, just quietly. There will be a punch up in the <laughs> <game. laughs> we received a fractured eye socket from Benny Freef, so... It'll be nothing compared to knocking my beer over. <laughs> okay, so Polecats send it deep and hard into the police. Oh. And there's... One of the big police forwards. Let's just call them all Siani, these big fellas. Okay, as Trey comes in acting half, looking for his runners on. And Barusi, who's pulled off some massive hits in today's game, charging the ball. They get to the 40 metre mark. Acting half, looking for his runners. Oh, there's been a lost ball there. Pole catch ball, perfect position, guys. 
Just looking at half time, interestingly note, only one change to the side. We've got Jesus on for Arthur Hammer. Yeah, so Arthur Hannah was a little bit quiet. It, um, I'm sure he'll be back and probably play a feature role in this grand final. Yeah, we've all seen Jesus play before. He can get in there. He gets through them. So hopefully the ball comes out to him Gardner sometime looking this game. Throws on a McDonald's. Almost through. It's been wrapped up there. Good defence by the police. There, who's done a shoulder. They're trying to get up to play the ball quickly, the Polkats. Royce in acting half. Oh, easy penalty, Royce. Well played. Played for the penalty. Now, obviously, Bob's going right up them because the Polkats have come out a totally different team this half than they did the f start the first half. Well, they're just playing simple football now, guys. Just running and acting half, making, forcing the mistake and doing it easy. Yeah, it looks like Luke was looking for the call there from the sideline to see if we should go for the two again. But, um, no, it looks like we're going to run this one, try to get some points on the board. Yeah, good call. Good call to Everard. Hits it up. They're in their numbers, the police. Young in there wrestling him to the ground. Royce looking for runners. BJ there. Gary hits it up. Oh, the police are looking to pull off big shots, which is not what you want to do in this kind of conditions. You want to just make your tackles, get back your 10, and make your next one. Great run by Gaz there. He's made about 16 metres off that hit up. Oh, the kid never stops working. On to the ladies' man probing. Oh, you see, ducked under another high shot. The police are trying to pull off the hits. Well, the coppers okay. know that Lukey's one of the danger men. I mean, he scored Gardner six tries against them. On to Williams, all good defence. Wallbang in acting half, looking, stepping, weaving, probing, looking. Is he going to get there? Try, Wallbank, you genius, son! Scott Wallbank beat five or six of them in about two centimetres to score one of the greatest tries I've ever seen, you little champion. Totally agree with you there, Troy. They're over again. Oh, sorry, not over again. They're over for the first time, but those six points trying to trick me there. Now we've got the camera on this one, and they've got over. Well done, Polecats. It looks like we've got a game on our hands. I don't know, but these wet conditions, it was like Scott Wallbank was stepping on one blade of grass. God love the kid. He's done an enormous job to bring the Polecats right back into this match. Especially in the first three minutes of the game, or even less. Two minutes and about 30 seconds, and we're over the line. Let's hope this plays the story to the end of the game. Yeah, no, they're pretty pumped, the Polecats. I think, that, like I said, they needed to get into that little half-time little speech from Bobby Lennox, and I knew they'd come out a different side. So we've had the very inspirational play from the captain. As they usually say in grand finals, you need one play from the captain to lift the side if you're going to win. And Scotty's brought out one of the best players that you'll ever see in a grand final. So here we go. We've got Mitch going to convert it. This will make scores equal. Just three minutes into the second half. Well, Gardner's taken his usual four steps back, one to the left. Has a bit of a look, moves in. One, two, left in front, hits it, it's not pretty. The touch judges like it, it's 12 all in the big one. As you can hear in the background, the horns are going off, the crowd's going wild. We've got a game on our hands, guys. Don't turn off the television now. We've just got the official crowd just come over. It's 48,297 people here for this big clash. It's amazing how many of that 48,000 are sitting in their cars at the moment. Yeah, I mean. well, and I can tell you there's at least 25,000 in the clubhouse. <laughs> <laughs> Which is where I want to be. Because <laughs> I got a special in the last at Caulfield. I mean, it's fantastic to be out here in nature in the rain. Oh, Benny's taking a good hit up and just charged into the fence and lost it, but gone backwards. Oh, I don't, it's a tough call to be called forward. But this is not where the Polecats wanted to be after scoring a try. Looks like a bit of the return um, after what happened in the last game. We hit hard back after uh, the police's try and looks like they've just come straight back at us and hit hard after theirs. Let's see how it goes and see if the police can put some points on the boards for themselves in this second half. Tell you what though, Benny deserves to be dirty after that one. It went backwards and he's caught the knock on, so... Yeah, no, it went backwards from where I'm standing, Menzies. But anyway... After one of his probing big prop forwards. I'd like to know what police station he serves at because I won't be going there for any course any trouble. But anyway, looking for runners. Oh, I tell you what, there was some better breaks there. I think he stopped. Anyway, the police are about five metres short of their line. Half back, looking for Young. Young looking left. Oh, he's just bumped off one. Bumped off two. Beat three. Going towards the line. Four. This could be a try. 
He's very, very close. He's about 30 centimetres short. He gets up and plays the ball to for Murray picks it up off the first bounce. So what they like to call him tennis half volley. The police. They're, oh, the big Bruce, he's put a kick in. This will be interesting. The pole catch of Diver is very scrappy, but they've picked it up about 15 metres out from round one. This is what we needed. Six tackles from here. Royce, he picks it up and acts, has a little bit of a run from acting up. All oh, right. Oh, it looks like a bit of a Craig Wing shoulder problem there. It's all legal, mate. You've got to get up and play the ball. You can get away without the game of football. I do it myself. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Royce is down there, but he looks like he's thrown him around for a bit. I'm surprised the referee didn't jump in earlier and um, try to kind of stop that little scuffle before it happened. Big man on little man, but little man's back up, and um, we're about to go forward again from here. At least we got the penalty. Oh, no, sorry, no penalty there. We're just playing the ball. He just pulled I it told up. you it was a legal play, Benny. You're allowed to do that, mate. If you're going to stand there, you drop to the ground, otherwise you get hurt. Anyway, the pole catch try and work it out from acting half. They've scooped to the 25-metre line. He just takes it up. Oh, oh. pass. The police are there. It's all right. It's gone uh, backwards. And Robbie Williams has taken it up. Good recovery. I mean, they still made forward yards, so full credit to them. Royce passes out. Gaza. Good run by Gaz. Always. Gaz is just punching himself up to the halfway line. We're looking for a good kick here. We have one more hit up. A scoop from Royce from Dummy Up. He's had a great game, Royce, when he's come on. Wall banking, acting half, looking for his kick up. Tully Chu puts it, I don't know, it's gone straight up and across field. It's gone for the ball. Oh, it's going to be is it knock on? Oh. And the referee has caught it. The police weren't playing to the whistle, I don't think. Yeah, I'm surprised. It didn't look, it looked like Carney pulled his hands away in the last minute. Surprised that he, uh, they called that he touched that there, but it doesn't look like they're uh, putting much of a fight up against that call. He must have uh, just touched his fingertips. But yeah. um, Big Bopper's about to play the ball. Yeah, I'm with you there, Benny. I think the police are trying to cruise to the line here, and they're not going to do that. Right? Oh, massive tackle! Oh, no, you can't be serious, referee. Robbie this Williams just jumped back in there. Robbie Williams has done a good tackle. He was just getting back for the first half. It looks like the copper's down. This is just a good old-fashioned pick up and drive his sorry ass into the turf. If they take driving someone's sorry ass into the turf out of this game, we might as well call it netball. Great to see Robbie Williams get one back though after that huge hit earlier. He's taken it to the West Sydney forwards, picked them up and just pummeled them into the ground. Well, they're too scared to take the kick for touch because they don't worry they'll get out. But all oh, Rob hit up and he got absolutely pulverised. You can hear, you can hear his ribs cracking from here. And I'll tell you what, I love the sound of that. They're working. They're working for the penalty. Brucey. Brucey's dished out some punishment of his own. The pole cuts are not look. Look, he's a perfect target there. That's when you come in for your cheap shots while he's standing there. Looks like um, the police have dropped a bit of their fitness in this half. They're all standing around. Not many people running onto the ball. Polecat's moving up well in defence, but it looks like it's a little break here. But Benny's got him. He's come down. He's tripped over the legs of somebody there. Coppers have pushed their forwards out to, so they're facing our centres and wingers, trying to get some advantage. They're clearly not making yards up the middle, so they're trying to go out wide. Yeah, I don't really know what the police are trying to do. We turn it back inside, if you ask me. But I oh, know they're big fellas and they don't want to move too far around the park. Youngie puts the kick forward, taken by Luke, the ladies' man, McDonald. Oh, great oh, run by Luke. He's through. Oh. Oh. I'll tell you what, the pole cats are coming right over the top of the police here. If the police don't watch themselves, they're going to find themselves in a whole lot of bother on the scoreboard. Fantastic run there by Robbie Williams, knocked over the first defender. Here we go again, Lukey. Luke's had a fantastic involvement in this game. He's been everywhere. Yeah, I'd like to see a few more blokes have a bit more of a go like McDonald and Williams because if we had blokes, if we had 13 blokes like McDonald's and Williams out there at the moment, we'd be winning by a country mile. Yeah, I agree with you there, Troy. And like you said at the start of the game, a few scoots might get us a few metres and the last three before this one was a few scoots and we look like we're back down their end again. That's a nice kick. Well picked up. Great work by Tadic there. I yeah. mean, taking on a far bigger guy and he just took it down easily. It's perfect play, mate. When you put your kick in, you've got to chase it and chase it hard and that's exactly what the kids say. Tadic involved again. Is that number 16? Should be playing. Oh, fantastic cover tackle there. 
Benny is known for his tough hackers. Oh, good hits, boys. Stand up, don't let them run. That's good work, fellas. Get there in numbers. So the police are trying to work it out. They're on the halfway line. Memo looking for going himself. He's trying to throw that away. That's a knock on. Hopefully, the touch judges will wake up to that. It's all right. Zero tackle. Polkhouse ball. Great work by Carney there to regather it. Robbie Williams, he's got it. Going up. He just does not stop this kid. Each time he just winds up and keeps on having a go. Josh has his first touch in this half. Oh, and unfortunately, he fell in the this swimming pool in the middle of the field. That's one way to get yourself dirty, Josh. That's what I would have done too, mate. Good on you, buddy. Anyway, Gary gets up and plays the ball back to Royce. Royce looking for his runners. He's gone on the right-hand side. He's gone on his own long ball. Oh, and just popped over the sideline there. Unlucky. If you pick that ball up, sometimes you have to throw him. Unfortunately, in that case, it didn't come off. No, 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 Benny. I've told you once today. I've told you 150 times. It's wet weather football. Long balls are not on. Especially when your wingers just had a hit up on that side. Definitely a fair call. Definitely a fair call. I'm going to stand between these two before they get to fisty cups. <laughs> and yeah. Okay, so we've got loose head and feet going to the West Sydney Blues here. They're about 38 metres out from their line. So. And if you're wondering whose phone's ringing, that's mine. Just while we wait for the scrum to be packed, let's make special mention of our favourite touch judge, Frankie, out here. Clearly been having a fantastic game despite the awful conditions. Don't you agree, man? Totally agree. Lucky we have um, got good touch judges today. We've had a few controversial calls in second grade um, that may have uh, cost us the spot in the grand final, but we're here today at least watching it, commentating it, and a big hit there. Sam has injected himself into the game quickly. That's really good, pushing him down into the ground. Good work there. Let's hope he keeps that up for the game. Uh, to be Sam is what, first time he's been on the field all game, isn't it? Strange move by Bob to wait to the second half to put him on. You know, but with the big guys out on the field, it's probably good with one of our big guys to have a bit of fitness under hand so he can keep on running forward and doing it tough. Definitely, definitely. Nothing wrong with keeping some quality players fresh guys in these kind of conditions. They're big, they're slow, they're not interested, and... Polkats have the ball again, fantastic. Reaction there by the team. Burns okay. the acting half, picks it up and goes right. Good nine metre run. That's what you need, he wall banger in that half. Is he going to follow that up with a good run himself? He does, shows, goes, makes it four metres. Well, all right, I've been leaning at this, Scotty, you made about one and a half. <laughs> Back to Royce, he swings it on at Everard. Everard stepping, weaving, finds himself running into nothing but brick walls. They're about 45 metres out from their own line. Royce in acting half on the Benny. Benny makes good yards. That's the way you do it, guys. You run your seven metres as hard as you can to get knocked back three. Benny and Royce. They're looking for their kick, clearing kick, McDonald. Just a nice little punch down into their little corner. Brilliant kick, right between, uh, you know, split the fullback and the winger. Fantastic effort, and good chase, great tackle there. Talking about this winger, I think the police have put him on just to give him a game. I don't think he'll be out there for much longer. He's shown very little in that hit-up. Uh, and I reckon that is a very harsh call, the offside there. I, the Polecats were clearly making an effort, and unfortunately, Burjo just hasn't pay them credit for it. Yeah, no, I think the referees got confused with the jerseys. They're very similar. Another ball out there, uh, kicked out to touch by the police. Uh, they're setting up now to go for another run. Hopefully the Polecats can put together some more good defence. On to Robinson, who has his hit up. Robinson hammered in a good tackle from Royce and Everard. On oh, he doesn't want anything to do with it, number 11. He was frightened, scared, looking... Yeah, totally grief there, Troy. And lucky Carney got that ball. And if um, there wasn't many players around, he's a bit of a show-and-go guy himself. He would have stepped through them and went straight to the line. Lucky they got up and in quickly. The one thing I can say that's going into the pole catch advantage, and there's a reason why I say the pole catch can win this match, is that has anyone seen Sir Nick? Is he off? Well, good question. I think the only two touches we've seen of Sir Nick, he's just let the ball touch the turf, so... I no, they have a lot of confidence in him. Oh, fantastic play there. Going out oh, wide, go! Oh. No, I want someone to be brutally honest. He's Nick. I have to admit, I can't see him. I can't see him. He's been missing for a long time now if he's not. 
Maybe in England getting that knighthood. <laughs> Very nicely put, yes. He did play for Paris. He did, he did. Let's not forget his fantastic season with... Yeah, ask him, he'll tell you. <laughs> anyway, I don't know if that's Sione or Bruce or which one of them is, but one of the prop forwards for the police that hit up and... Dummy up has had a bit of a scoot. They're on about the 40 metre mark and they need to get a good clearing kick here. Jonah has put up a kick. Gone past Lukey. He totally misread it. That's alright, he's regathered it. And the sloth, he's made a good 10 metres back. That's good work. Warbank going in at dummy half. Passes it out to Jesus. Jesus has come across from the other wing to take the ball. Great work by him. Good to see him getting involved. <laughs> okay, Gary charging into the police defence. This is the kind of work that the polecats need to look up to and lift from. Roy Shinak now, from, he's had a barnstormer since he's been out there. Roy, if they take him off, it'll be a travesty. Semmer well, Semmer, well, Semmer charges his five metres forward. I wish this church judge would get out of the way. As Royce comes out acting half, have to do it on his own. No one's really helping him onto that retarded winger. I don't think he's much chopped this winger. This could be very interesting what happens here. That's a great kick put in there. That might be a try. Oh, oh you, he's pulled it back. That winger, if he is not dragged after that play, high fiving, you're kidding, mate. He should get off. Do your team a favour. I'd be very interested to see what result they would have gotten if the video replay was here for this grand final. T R Y. I'd have to agree with you. Another good uh, hit up by the police there, but stopped again well by the, the Polecats. We've seen a lot of uh, work in their own half this game, um, but let's see if they can get out of it this time. Hey, what, the police have to be worried. They've played the majority of this game so far within their own half. True, they've, they've scored two tries to one, but, you know, they're getting tired. They're, not, they're get looking laser and laser each time. Oh, and as I say, that just made a break. Great tackle by Lukey. Good work there. I'm just going to stop complimenting the police. There you go at them because they seem to go well when I do. Okay, the police attack the line. They're about 10 metres out. There's a whole case coming from everywhere. They've flicked it out the back door. Oh, he's knocked it on. He's called a knock on by the pole. Cats a touch judge. I think that's a very, very tough call. Next time, Frankie travels his way down past the camera I'll be asking his thoughts on that because I think that that was a wrong decision pressure game pressure scenario you can understand even touch judges make mistakes unfortunately that one could potentially be costly for the Polecats well if that costs a grand final that'll do me he should be hung drawn and quartered on, totally boy. agree there uh, looks like I thought he jumped on it regathered it and he was ready to go again I don't know how the uh, police lost it in the first place there, there, um, was definitely no, there was definitely no lost ball there. That was a tough call. We're about to pack down the scrum again now. Looks like they're having another little rest while the clock still ticks down. No time off here. Oh, they're waiting for the number 20 to put it in. Here we go. He's put it in. Oh, but they're gone the other side. But Cuddles is onto it straight away and tackled there and put down on the ground. Oh, there's a knock on there. Uh, the, the, that's karma. That's, that's karma. Call justice, guys. Justice. Justice, karma. I'm sure there's about another five, six different names we could call it. Most of them we can't say on camera, but, you know, we can Paul has got the ball again. We can give it a go, man. Just have a crack. <laughs> Good call there, Troy. Justice. And playing against the police, that's a big one. <laughs> Just played the scrum again. Gone out the back. Nice oh. little scoot. Robbie Williams. It, the guy has been everywhere. I mean, what can they got to be a penalty there, seriously. Is it, look, it's, it, is there going to be anything else but Williams, McDonald, pick it up? Can someone get out there and help him out, please? Everard stepped in again, passes it out. Oh! oh! Massive! Massive! That's what the crowd's coming for. Robbie attempts to do the same back on the police, but unfortunately the guy went sideways. Yeah, no, you really can't pull that kind of stuff off unless you're about 140 kilos, and unfortunately most of the coppers are that weight. Oh, it's clearly their diet program they use, so... Yeah, so they've got good stuff the police force. 
Oh, there's knock-ons everywhere here. The Polecats have come up with a football, and that's perfect. Please, referee, don't say we've knocked that on. Thank you. And finally, the right call has come through. So here we are in the 19th minute of the second half. Scrum packing down. Polecats should get loose head and feet. Interested to see what they do from here. Any ideas, guys? Well, I'm just hoping that it's just the good old-fashioned three or four drive it in the corner and hope for the mistake because in these kind of conditions, mistakes will come. Yeah, but as we've seen, with those scoots, it's been very effective. Let's hopefully they get a few more scoots into here again, get back up their end, and let's start playing back in their half again. That's what I'd like to see. There's nothing wrong with when you get to the line against these big fellas. Just put a little step on so you don't get hammered because it's just one big hit just coughs the ball up. It's not hard to lose the football in those conditions. Here we go, we've got Warbank. Oh, Warbank oh. has been absolutely hammered and he won't like that either. He's playing the ball where he took it up. There we go. Freddie, out to Gaz. Gaz Great run by Gaz. This is what Gaz plays for, the big hits. And he, look, he's lifted. That's what the team needed. They needed Gaz to go forward there and he really did. Somebody needs to lift this team and keep them going back forward. And um, Gaz is the man to do it. But he looks like he may have a little bit of an injury in back play there. But Robbo is still taking it forward now. Good clearing kicking is what the Polecats need. On to McDonald, going himself. McDonald's oh, good, no, passes it back. Goes to Carney, Carney kicks it straight into them. What's the referee doing here? Oh, Change over. the ball. Change over. I'll tell you what, that could have been a 50-50 call. The touch judge, I don't know what he was doing. Touch judge, can you please explain what are you out here for? Getting a good close view of the game or something? <laughs> like we all saw what happened there, what happened to you? Great defence there again by the Polecats, getting two, three guys to every tackle. It's a fantastic effort to see. Here we go, we've got... Yeah, little Freddie's still pushing in those tackles there. He's doing well. Yeah, here we got Big Bopper passing to another Big Bopper. Here we go, Tuffy's got an arm in there, but Tari has just wrapped it up in the background. Coppers are up to play it again. Here he goes, oh, a bit of a slow play of the ball. Popped in behind. Oh, he's palmed off one, but he's got stopped by the second guy, and he's pushing him back now. Okay, Coppers play the ball again. Shifted out to the left to another one of their big boppers. Tackled, but he offloads. They're going to make a little bit more ground here. Polecats need to move up and give Cuddles a bit of help. Tadic makes a great effort to tackle there. Last tackle, about 15 metres out. Police put in the grubber. Regathered by McDonald. Fantastic effort there by McDonald. He's through. Past the first. Oh, just past the second, but unfortunately he got wrapped up there. Play the ball, Carney's gone in, picked it perfectly, made a good gap. That number six is totally offside, uh, but no pass it, pass it, Jesus, oh! He's got the ball, oh, and he's been hit hard in a tackle, but yes. these guys are still doing all right. Unfortunately, with the prop hiding out of the wing, Jesus just ran into a wall of pain. Here we go, Robbie about to make another run again. That's a lot better, almost bust through the gap, didn't get hit this time, didn't get hit hard. Freddie's calling it now, he wants to get it out to the guys. Richie, Richie injects himself for about the fifth time in this game, goes forward, good metres by Richie there. Interesting to see, Bob hasn't used Richie much this game, he, oh, what's been called there? <laughs> Not sure, let's wait for the call. Here we go, His clock's still ticking down, referee isn't calling stop. Looks like, yep, no, time's off because number three for the police side's down injured. Referee's over to check it out now. Got Macca, the stats man, over here. Looking after the player as the trainer. Lindsay, do you want to give any insight on uh, last year's uh, coaching coaching efforts? So we might, might leave that for another day. Oh, I've... I've oh, that's correct. Um, look, no, Rob was fantastic. For the 10, 15 minutes he turned up to each game to coach, he was fantastic. Um, unfortunately, he wasn't there pre-game and he wasn't there post-game, so... Yeah. yeah, I think it was just there for half-time. As he said, he's a stats man. All right, well, here we are, back into the game again. Police have got the ball. Not sure exactly what happened. We may be able to see that on the uh, replay later on. Um, but looks like he's about to throw in the ball now, and uh, let's see what the police can do. But back in their own half, which is good positive signs for the Polecats. Buzz is out. And again, Tadic, one of the first ones there. Luke McDonald to go in to clean up. A little bit of a worry that the small guys seem to be doing most of the tackling in the team. Here we go. Oh, Ooh, Tuffy just slipped Tuffy. off on there. Um, it's alright, Freddy was in there and Big Richie. As always, Richie, huge performer in the team. Well, that was a good tackle there. Who was, who's that underneath? Is it Ben Fahim? 
Oh, no, 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 it's Robbie again. He tried to get in, in underneath him and uh, almost got him down, but at least stopped him in his tracks. It'll be f interesting to see Robbie's stats at the end of the game. He, yes. Clearly, he's got to be up there with Gaz and Luke as the uh, best performers of the team. I mean, they've just been everywhere. Yeah, yeah, Carney's oh. been in there too. Hopefully, we can jump on this board. No, somebody's gone in. Yes, no, we've got it. Got a great work by the polecats. So here they are, 53 metres out from the police line. Got Everard passes it. Oh, to Tuffy. Tuffy's Tuffy holds his own, though. Tuffy's been hit hard. They're trying to drag him back. But like we said, he's been going forward all day, and he's a tough guy. Oh, clean, clean loss there, the referee's called. Not sure. May have been a bit of hands in there. But you know what? We've got to take the referee's word for it. He had his back to us, and uh, we couldn't see exactly what went on. Yeah, no, that was just silly, guys. You just get up. You stay out of the niggle and this kind of stuff because the other team are going to put the niggle in. You've got to stay out of it and just play football. I suppose that's going to be the difference between the two sides. You can see the coppers at the moment. Clearly very tired. Trying to cut corners wherever possible. Aggravate the polecats as much as they yeah, can. Oh. The pole. That's what we need. I thought the touch judge missed that. I was wondering what he was looking at. No, no. Frankie was all over it. All over it. Paul handling skills of a lesbian, that bloke. That's a little harsh. I've seen a few lesbians who are good at ball sports. but <laughs> uh, Here we go. We've got Taddy. She's going to feed the scrub. Loose handed feed. She'll go to the polecats. Here we go. Comes out of the back. Passes. Gardner's been hit heavily about 55 metres out from the polecats line. Alan in there. Alan in there. Who's he going to go to? He's gone to Lukey. Oh, Lukey got past the first one. I'd like to go. I'd like oh, to good run by Luke. I'd like to say, I reckon Luke McDonald's done more hit ups than some of the prop forwards in this game. Well, we were just saying that earlier. We reckon um, Lukey, Rob, and Gaz would possibly be the top three performers for the side. I mean. Well, look, all I know is that the captain's got to come out from standing out there on the right hand side of the field and come in and inject himself. Because you can't win football matches standing out there waiting for something to happen. Uh, and again, a forward pass. You've got to come in and take control, Scotty. This is where you are needed, mate. A little disappointing. The rest have been heavily penalising the polecats for flat passes, often calling them forward, yet he hasn't you know, you know, applied the same ruling to the West Sydney for passes. Yeah, so a lot. Yeah, I'd have to agree with you, Menzi. The 50 50s aren't going our way, but. Young feeds the ball onto one of their big centres, looking prop centres. I think he's a winger, actually. Yeah, no, you're fine. His name is not Ron Clark, but it should be because he's got <laughs> some pace for a big fella. One of the things you just have to watch here, hopefully the Polecats keep on getting back on side. We don't want to get penalised here and get put in a bad position coming towards the end of this game. There's about uh, 13, almost 14 minutes to go. The score's locked up at 12-all. These guys are going forward, but we just got to keep on putting them on their backs and just keep on pushing hard. Yeah, that's right, Ben. We've got about 13 minutes to go before Menzies, the genius that he is, comes good and tells us we're going an extra time, and that's when... Oh, we've got a knock on there. Knock on, knock on both ways. It looks like we're going to pack down for a scrum, but good, we're still in the police's half, and we're going forward from here, hopefully, once again. Yeah, no, it's just a matter of fact, guys. Like I say, here we are, we've got ourselves in great field position. It's just a matter of just rolling ourselves up the field, rolling one in the end goal line and working from there. You just heard one of the uh, spectators in the back line saying you have nothing polecats, but if he looks at the scoreboard, it's 12 also a pretty even match game. That's why they're, in, that's why they're on the sideline and not commentating for this game, Benny. I mean, clearly... McDonald's got himself in the dummy half again, looking to try and spark something. Ah, oh, great run there, great offload. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's gone again. Here we go. Who's Josh, Josh is probing, looking, weaving, ducking, dodging, trying to do something. I think they've got to let the ball sink oh. here. Oh, Richie's... Oh, Sniper got him. Yeah, he was just chopped down right at the ankles. Allen in acting half. Oh, it wide. On the guard now. Going going on the oh, could be called for knock on there. No, no, it's clear. Oh, yeah. harsh call. It went backwards, I would have thought. I'm standing here behind him and it looked like a knock on to me, mate. Unfortunately, as a good commentator I am, I'm not biased. I'd say that one, but there's no bias in that one. 
with that one there that clearly went back he regathered pulled it into himself but not along the ground so I wouldn't call it a knock on this referee seems like he's picking up and going on the police's side and I guess he's just trying to stick with the law but in this case hopefully it comes out our way I tell you what, I am just absolutely marvelled with the game that McDonald and Williams are putting in for podcasts today. They've done nothing but try all game. They deserve the Premiership. Interesting to see, Scotty's gone back to fullback again, so he may get a higher involvement in the game once the coppers get a kick through. Well, I'm telling you now, he hasn't gone back to fullback for a rest because he couldn't possibly be tired. Buzzer, police make another hit up. Good run there. Everard wraps up the tackle. Oh, this is the short kick. Tuffy takes it. Oh, fantastic work by Tuffy. He's through. Pass. Great work. Takes it back to almost the 50. Yeah. And a penalty to the Polecats. Yeah, hit him a bit high there. Looks like we got the penalty. If we can put it down into the area now and get a few points on the board, looks like this game could maybe start going our way. Hopefully yeah, the referee's back on our side. That was a definite cheap shot. Got him nothing below the eyebrow. <sighs> Jesus goes and chases the ball as it's gone into O'Connell Street. Passes it out to Allen. He just goes to the first hit up. I've got a warm and fuzzy feeling about the Polecats here. Oh, great run by Tuffy. After his big run beforehand, he's backed it up perfectly. Just got this funny feeling that Wallbank's going to inject himself into a play here. <sighs> Tadic. Oh, that's uh, Williams. Wrapped up there. Unfortunately, they read it too well, the Coppers. Slow to play the ball. Carney. Why, why wouldn't he? The poor bastards done nothing oh. but try all day. Here he goes. Ball back. Brought down five metres sh short. Allen. Tadic. Gardner. Out to Luki. Oh! oh. Good ball. Oh. Good ball. That's a rough, rough. Rough call, referee. What was he supposed to do? You get tackled and you pass in the same motion. How can you possibly penalise a man for that? Ridiculous call. Polkats just need to turn around now and keep their defence up. We need to keep it down in this half. If we want to win this game, we need to keep our discipline and keep going safe and just hold in there. We can get down their end and score a point, but um, just got to be safe. Tell you though, what though? What about I'd that like call? I'd like to predict that number was four and five three foot off the ground. But they haven't got the same name. They're both grossly overweight, that's for sure, and they look so, it's very similar. The team sheet doesn't say they're brothers, but they both look very ugly. No. Got play the ball. Buzz with number 14, who's in a very oh. clean jersey for this style of game. Wrapped up by Fahim. Pass out to BJ, wraps him up around the legs. Good work by BJ there. I just like to talk about clean jerseys. What's BJ been doing the whole game? His jersey looks like he's only just picked it out of the jersey bag. Uh, it's all right. BJ got involved there and the guy pops up the ball. So, polecat ball again. Here we go. Awesome work. we just got to see if we can get back down there half now. He's flicked it out. We've got a bit of space out there, but not a lot of players. Unfortunately, but here we go. He's going to play the ball again. Joshy will probably do a scoot here, and if it's uh, any mark of what he's done today, he's going to make some more ground. Good run, Josh. Good run. Good made a good nine metres. Gets up. He's going to play the ball back to Wallbank, who's going to hopefully do the same, and he has done. Good run, Scotty. Makes his ten metres. Now we're going to do is make one more and then drive it down their corner, and it's all sweet. That's a good penalty. That's a good penalty. Silly, silly play by the police. Five eight. That's what the uh, Polecats needed here. We need to get down back up their end. And we've got the kick for touch here. And uh, hopefully we'll get back down their end now. Yep, there we go. Tap off. Let's just hold the ball safely. Try to get over the line. If not, drive it back into their line. And hopefully we can keep them down there. We're right here at the right end of the clock. This is where we want to be at this time of the game. And it's good to see a couple of good old faithful Polecats charging into the fence. And here we are. We're coming in numbers now. Everard hitting it up hard. McDonald trying to probe. He's... Allen on to BJ. BJ needs to really live for this game. He hasn't done much yet. BJ and Allen. Allen looking for runners. 
Oh, it's a Tuffy. Tuffy. Good. Oh, reasonable run by Tuffy there. He held on the Alan, ball. Alan looking for Tolich. Tolich. Long ball to Gardner. Gardner. Holds. Gives to Warbank. Warbank. Oh, brought down this short of the line. Fifth tackle. What are they going to do here? McDonald. Puts a grubber in. <laughs> oh, six again. Got to be six again here for the Polecats. No, 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 referee. Just how it's gone all game this. But at least we're still down their end. Now they come back out now, but let's see if the Polecats can hold them in their own half. And let's push it back again, try one more time. Hopefully we get over and we don't draw this game up and go into extra time. Yeah, no, we're looking for a mistake here and then a field goal. Great field defense goal. there by the Polies. The police, they're running on empty. The Polecats are coming over the top of them. And I'm very, very excited. The police have gone pretty much nowhere in their three tackles. Under their only weapon who's got to be getting tired now, old Sione, or sometimes known as Bruce. Bruce Sione, I think he's an undercover cop actually, so he could very well go under both names normally. Here we go, Jesus takes up the ball. Great run there, he's got past the halfway, takes, gets tackled about 48 metres out from the pole, sorry, 42 metres out from the West Sydney line. Play the ball there, taken by Josh, Josh darts, he gets tackled again, pa offloads it to... The one and only Robbie Williams. Robbie Williams has been jolly on the spot all day, I wouldn't be surprised if our old mate ladies man's right behind him. And who's there? Uh, no less than a moon away, but the ladies man hobbling around. Here we go, Freddie's jumped in go. with the ball again. Field goal. Party. He's hit. Field goal, but touched by their player. It's That's touched by their player. Again. Six against just as good. Oh, oh, if we had a video ref there, maybe there was a touch on the ball, but at least we get the ball back. It was a try for that. I don't know with five minutes to go if the one point was a big thing there, but I guess if this is our last chance in their half, may have been well. Looked a bit like then they were reminiscing to their childhood years with, with the old slip and slide in that end goal. So, what do you think, Troy? Yeah, no, it was very entertaining. I could tell you a story about my grandfather on the slip and slide, <laughs> but I haven't got time. There's five minutes to go. That's a great drop kick for the Polecats. We have set ourselves up right here for drop goal position. I reckon, I know you guys probably won't agree, but I'm saying one more hit up, another crack for the point. Who do you reckon is uh, most likely to go for the field goal? Oh, oh no, 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 that is a major stuff up. Uh, this is looking like going into Stephen Menzies' golden gooch if I've ever seen it. And I'm only blaming Menzies for my sake of being here for the extra time because he's the one that called it. As the police, they're about 40 metres out there, go from dummy half, one of their big centres, props, wingers, I don't know what they want. To Great tackle there by Carney. Carney and Tadish both for market there. Pass out for the number three, the West Sydney. Not making many yards, are they? They're really struggling. No, I think the Polecats fitness might be coming in here. They keep on moving up off the line. They want this game. This is their season. Oh, Hopefully they can finish it off. There's a good hit there. They've lost the ball. Knock on. We got the ball back. We're in their half. Massive hit. Dennis Everard, you are a superstar, son. You almost took that bloke's head clean off. Oh, look at his leg. Oh, my gosh. Look at his leg. Oh, that's horrendous. And that is the most horrendous injury I've ever seen in my life. Clearly, it is, that clearly is it's time off now. That and we're taking a break because that is disgusting. Guys, look at that on the camera. I don't know if you want to, but this guy's in trouble. Um, yeah, unfortunately for him, we like to see this game go like the Polecats way, but we don't want to see those kind of things happen. Um, that's, yeah, very, very unlikely, and hopefully that kind of stuff never happens again. So anyway, return to play. Clean ball coming in. Tadic is about to feed the scrum. It should be loose head and feed to the Polecats. Yep, game back on. Three minutes, 42 to go. The biggest game of the year. Right now after that, I don't know, half an hour delay for a broken ankle. But anyway, Polecats have got three minutes and 36 seconds to win this game, and I'm relatively confident. At the back, Tadic to Gardner. Gardner passes in to Carney, it looks like. Good run by Carney. We're on the halfway line. First tackle of the game, Freddie Allen there at dummy half. Freddie gets it, passes Tadic. Tadic passes to McDonald. Great. Oh, Donald going backwards quickly. You can't hold that against him. The guy has done nothing but try all day long. Run there by Robbie Williams. Oh, that was freefy and lost the ball too. Pick up by Tadish. Tadish runs. Good run up the middle there by Tadish. 
ended up making forward beaters, which is That's great. That's a good offload by Williams. <laughs> making easy yards. Oh, T, 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 T gets it, pass it. Oh, oh he's pass it to the copper. Two minutes, 47 on the clock. Can the police pull something out of nothing? Yeah, unfortunately. Oh, 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 got a chance. Here they are. They're about 30, oh, no, they're about 20 metres out. Tony to play the ball. Yep. They're riding the dummy up. This could be the grand final right here. Looking for runners. Fires the one and only little Robbie Williams charging himself into the line of defence. Allen the halfback, looking for runners. Finds Benny. Benny hits the defence hard, but the, the police are doing this all wrong. They're trying to pull off shots, and all they've got to do is make tackles. They've got to watch out. One doesn't anyway, slip off here. Uh, He's a halfback looking for a field goal. Field goal. Goes left. Beats one. Goes two. Beats another one. Comes to the line of defence. He's about four metres short. Still pumping those little legs. Yeah, he's <laughs> still, still going he's hard He's going to play here. the ball about five metres out right in front of his pace. They're looking for runs. Goes back. He hits it. It's gone about 32 and a half centimetres off the ground. And you blokes had shit to put on me. At least I got off the ground. So, at least in international rules, that would have been six points. A minute 33 left in the game. Police take the hit up from the 20 metre line now. A two pole, three polecats involved in the tackle there. Oh, the police are like calling for a penalty, but they're not going to get it. Here they go, hit up here. He doesn't want too much to do it, but he's had a go. Next runner they've got in there, Carney's in the tackle. Benny's trying to pull him down. But this, guy, this is going to the wire here. This is a good. Oh, this is a solid five metres. Oh, God. It's 40 metres out. Great tackle there by Carney. out, one minute to go. What have the police got here? They look for their playmaker. For his prop forward winger, centre, slash something. He's beaten one, two. He's still going forwards. Tackled right on smack on halfway. They play the ball back on the fourth tackle. They look for Big Sioni. who has gone charging up. Offloaded the ball beautifully. They're about 30 metres from their line. Here's a field goal chance with 38 seconds to go. Are they going to use it? He drops it. He hits it high. He's up there. He's coming out 10 metres out. Wallbanks dropped it. The police have picked it up. Oh, what's happened here? 24 seconds to go. I think questions need to be asked. The polecat's clearly been taken out there in the middle. I don't know what's happened here, but the time it's been stopped with it's a knock on to the police, the polecats with 19 seconds to go. All they have to do is run about 96 metres and they can win the game or just tie it up and go an extra time. Polecats ball, thank goodness for that. It looked like there was a bit of discrepancy in the play there. Almost a knock on from our guys. Very happy it wasn't. We're about to play the ball. We got 19 seconds. This looks Almost positive that we're going into extra time. Unless there's a field goal player in there who can do a field goal from about 80 metres away. Come on, yeah, no, I'd like to see that. Well, maybe if Troy Allen and Matega was out there, but unfortunately he's here with... Well, sorry, it's beneficial to us. He's here in the commentary Come team, but unfortunately to the poor guys are out there. Yeah, well, put it this way, Come get nowhere near, but you have a crack. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, there's 10 seconds to go. The pole cats are 20 metres out. Everard looking on Ontario. I can tell you one day this guy won me a semi-final from nothing on a penny. There's one second to go. That's it. We're going an extra time. Thank you, ball boys. Thank you, score attendants. OT. Here we go. Extra time, guys. We're going again. These guys are going to have a chat. Sure, Bob will have something extra to say. But this game's going right down to the line. Most definitely, um, this... Extra time may be starting very soon. I don't know what happens in extra time here in this competition. I hope Menzies can fill us in because I don't know if it's golden point or what happens here. No, no, it's not golden point. It's 10 minutes each way, so we've got another 20 minutes of rugby league football to enjoy. Come on, awesome. I hope that my little tonsils can hold out for them. Uh, I'm sure they will. After 80 minutes of breathtaking football, we have both teams equal on 12 points each. Reviewing the last 40 minutes, only one try was scored through captain of the Polecats, Scott Warbank. We cross back now to the field with Troy Allen Matagan and Ben Freef to give us the last 20 minutes of action. Extra time, we've got 10 minutes each way. Gardner's going to drive this as far into the left-hand corner of the police he can and he winds one up and lets rip. Trey takes it and onto one of their big hard running forwards who just makes it easy 12 metres. But he's wrapped up there by three or four polecat defenders. 
We've lost the ball. This is going to be a penalty. Yes, we've lost the ball. Here we go. That oh, could have been, been Benny Fahim scoring the winning try. Oh, and hang on. Little prop forward in the number four jersey. Throwing his hands up in the air. I just want to know how four and five can look so much alike but yet not have the same name. That's the one thing I want to know. When I look at the team sheet, four and five, they're the fattest centre winger combination I've ever seen up playing in the front row without the same name. Yeah, Troy, with this game here, hopefully that wasn't a big mistake by the Polecats. Um, we're getting right down to the wire. Luckily, I've just... Oh, lovely! The important thing for the Polecats is they need to realise there's still a good 20 minutes of football left. So, I mean, they can't just try and, you know, win it in the first two, three minutes of this game. They've got to realise that they've got a whole quarter of football. Lovely hit, Polecats. That's a big return and serve to Big Bruce. He's been serving our punishment all afternoon. The police, they charge onto the ball. They're about 20 metres out. This is their best opportunity in the first two minutes of extra time. Yeah, these police look like they've got a bit of fitness back in them. After that long break, it looks like they're refreshed and they're ready to go again. Passes the middle. Carney wraps it up with... Mitch, like, Mitch like I said, I still don't think the police can win this game without Sir Nick, and he has not been sighted in the second half. Uh, number 23. Oh, he's I'm going to tell you now, there is nothing, no Canberra Raiders type win here against the Tigers. I'm just here to tell you now, they can't win it without Sir Nick. Especially oh. with kicks, oh, that's horrible. Excellent, that's gone out. Polecats favour, they're calling for something. One of the hey guys, guys is down here. I don't know if one of the police, but yet, no, guys. it's a police player. They're trying to call for somebody who's been taken guys. out. But no, nothing, nothing called from the touches okay. there. Come on, and here the Polecats are, they're 20 metres out, tap it up to BJ. BJ hits up, he makes a good seven metres. They Polecats, they, they need a couple of good hit-ups here, and Everard's looking to just deliver what he does week in and week out. Beats one, brought down about eight metres out. They're 40 metres out from their own line. They're looking for runners, and there's a good scoop from Dummy Up. Makes a good 12 metres. And a lovely offload to Benny. That's that's what the Polecats need, just to risk it a little bit. Good run there by Robbie Williams. And has he done anything less today? No, he's been an amazing performer. Another scoot there by Carney. Yes. And that is a two points. You've got to have a go at the two points here, guys. This is what you need here. That is just silly, silly football from the police. They go three, four minutes into this extra time, and they're tired. Yeah, I don't know. I'll be surprised here. I don't know how confident they are if they're kicking. He may take a shot, but um, unless they're going to run the ball. But if he kicks it out, we'll probably get in about within 20 of the police's try line here. Um, so, yeah, very interesting to see what comes. No, he's going for the shot. Here we go. Can this get us two points in front? Menzies? Definitely helps. I mean, Mitch has 100% record so far today, and he's got an amazing record in this final series. So let's hope he... Well, yeah, it's not the most difficult to kick. He's possibly about... Yes, well, as Gardner lines this up, he's probably, as, as Menzies said, he's probably about 13 and a half metres to the left-hand side of the upright. He's all of about 28 metres out. All he has to do is just hit this nicely. The rain stopped. Everything, all conditions are perfect. And Gay moves in. Kick goes. The flags are up. Here we go. Polecats are in front. Heads are up here. There's 15 minutes to go in this game. It's down to the wire, but the Polecats are up. We just need to keep the ball in hand, keep it safe, and hopefully we're taking this grand final home. So as you can see, this near capacity crowd is just going off their heads. Fantastic, fantastic conversion there by Mitch. Yeah, so it was a bit out. I, I was surprised that he took the kick. Very precious situation here, but he took the kick. He popped it over. The police are about to put it back to the Polecats now. And here we go again. Kick off. Robinson, otherwise I'll tell your mum. So I'll tell your mum, Claudia. Shortage kick off there by the by the by the West Sydney Blues Polecats run it up with Robway. Benny's taking there. the ball. Good run there by Benny. Been hit hard again, but these guys are holding on to the ball. We want this grand final and we want Josh, it today. Josh runs into Scoot, makes a good 10 metres. Runs into the middle, makes it to the 50 metre line, passes it out from 
out to Robbie Williams. Robbie gone again. That's another hard run by him. He's been going all day. Get, been getting hit hard, but it keeps on going. Alan to Carney. Carney kicks it forward. Good kick into the corner. Puts the pressure on the winger. Good chase there. Oh, push back in. Great work awesome by there. the Polecats. Awesome job. Fantastic effort there. That's a line drop out there forced. All right, Polecats are up now. All everyone's heads are up, but we've got to remember we still have 14 minutes to go in this extra time. So we've got to keep our heads up, keep our heads together, but keep on pushing forward. The most important thing for the Polecats here, I mean, if they can't get the four points, they just need to force out the return, of the, get the ball back again. Okay. Number short kick back into there. Oh, it's gone past by Mitch. Mitch gets it, regathers, runs up himself. Nice hard run there by Mitch. Yep. We've got Dennis backing him up. Dennis may go for a scoot here. Got no dummy half. Yep, here we go. There's a bit of a gap there. He hasn't got through it. Right. Plays close in quickly. Everard runs. Freddie in there. Passes to Tadic. Tadic passes behind to Robbie Williams. Good Robbie run again there. all day. Robbie and Lukey clearly, you know, causing chaos for the coppers up the middle. Standout players. Standout players all day. Now, here we go. Freddie's got the ball. He's passed it on to Tadic once again. It goes to Ben. He's got the ball. Almost fumbled it there, but lucky he held onto the ball. Better safe than dropped. Definitely, definitely. This game's all about possession now. Carney puts a kick through. Nobody's there. Nobody's home. Oh, oh does he get the ball? Or is that... Oh, is he going to call it a knock-on here? No, he's called it a knock-on. Okay, possession goes back to the police. Creative play. you got to give them credit there. So the police will get... It'll be last tackle so the police will get the tap 10 meters out that's right two minutes 42 to go it'll be interesting to see if they can make 100 meters over this uh play the ball here but um you know what it's a grand final anything can happen but at the moment 14 12 two minutes 32 to go in the first half of extra time polecats are up oh, okay time being called off here two minutes 20 second to go and all that Looks like we may have another injury back in back play. Let's hope it's not as serious as the one that just happened. No, he's getting to his feet now. Maybe just a little bit tired. Uh, this game's very interesting. It's going right down to the wire. Polecats are going well. It's been a fantastic game so far. Oh, we've got the ball back. Polecats win against the feet. Ball pops out the back. Rick Gavin. Oh, what's been caught up here? The referee once again has caught a knock on against our guys. It may look like, but... I don't know. We've been getting these calls against us all day. Not sure where they're coming from. Very interesting calls that um, Burjo's getting in the middle there. But, you know, he's been reasonably fair to both sides. But, yeah, oh, when it comes to knock-ons and everything like that, we certainly haven't been getting the bounce of the ball. No, we haven't. Been. Big Bopper taking the ball up again. But our guys great, are pushing him right back. Great, great hit. Great hit by the polies there. Let's hopefully we can force a mistake here. If we can get a mistake here, get the ball back and we'll us get over the line, hopefully we can pull this ball back. Great work there by Robbie Williams going out wide to make the tackle. There we go, Robbie and Josh wrap up that one. Fantastic market defence. Police are getting frustrated here. They're just asking for quicker play the ball. But they're not making any yards. They're still within their 30. Great. Oh, oh here we go. Something's been pulled up. All right. Okay, must be one of their players who's still on the field. Hopefully, we're still going to play the ball here. Nothing against the Polecats. Just got to make sure we stay inside it. Don't want to give away any silly penalties. Definitely. Minute 19 to go. Goes back to the coppers. They panic a bit. Kicks it. This may. Oh, it's just going to sit in. Warbank gets it. Good work by Warbank. Well. Goes back in. Well. That's great. Oh, fantastic run. He's done well. Good work by Josh. Josh starts around the blind side, makes a good eight metres there. Freddie's got the ball. Freddie passes it out to Tadic. Tadic to Gardner. Here Sorry, we go. He's in the gap here. Can he go all the way? Go, Robbie. Oh. Oh. Pulled down about five metres before the line. Great run there by Robbie. Go back Freddy. inside. Dennis pushing it out. Roycey. Ro oh. oh, lucky just to drop ball there. Almost had it wrapped up. Game over, but unlucky. We have to push it and try our luck. It's all right. They're patting each other on the back and we're still going forward. 24 seconds to go in the first half of this extra time. We're still up 14 to 12. Good, Good hit there. Good defense there by the Polecats. Ten, minute, ten and a half minutes to go in this game. In these conditions, they've held it well in this uh, first half of the uh, extra time. We've got four seconds to go. Let's see if the police hold it here or try for something special. Just wrap no, up this tackle. Okay. 
Wrapped there we up. go. That's half time in extra time. We've played 90 minutes of rugby league football here. Polecats are up by two. Tell you what. It's an interesting game. Oh, definitely, definitely. You took the words right out of my mouth. Time to switch sides here and let's see if the Polecats can lift once more time. We don't want anything silly here. Just hold on to the ball. Keep it safe. Keep it in their half. And hopefully we can wrap up this game and take home the premiership. Definitely. So both teams will have about a 30-second to a minute break as they change ends. Uh, Polecats will be receiving the ball. They'll be running towards the league's club this time. Um, that's where they've scored all their tries so far. So let's hope they keep it up. Yeah, let's hope that luck continues our way going that way. But um, we just got to hold on to the ball now. We're getting kicked off to, and it's really important right now that we hold it safe in our own half. If we do any mistakes here, this could really turn the game. So Burjo blows on a rather pathetic starting whistle for the second half. Even the referees are struggling at the moment. He must be out of breath. Yeah, little Ben there, awesome run back. He ran his ass off. But now here we go to Luke McDonald. Got tackled about the same place where uh, Ben just got tackled, but great return from the kickoff. Yeah. Carney, Carney's there at dummy half. Carney scoots up the blind side. Good run. Great hit there. Takes on Baldy and Baldy together. The Baldy brothers. Here we go. Up to Fahim. Fahim runs. A lot of attention, but he's still going forward. Great run there by him. Yeah, the police just tried to uh, get two in there, and I'm uh, lucky they didn't get put up for a penalty. But here we go again. Another hit on him. Another hit on Robbie Williams, but he's just taking it up hard. He'll get up again, and here we go once again, going forward. A lot of respect there for Robbie. He's been hit all day. They've targeted him. They know he's a danger man, but he just kept performing time and time again. Awesome tackle right there. Put him on his back. Two guys picked him up. And here we go again. The police are coming into our half, but let's hope they don't get there. That's what the Polecats just need to do. They need to just put 110% enthusiasm into everything. Kick, chase, every hit up, every tackle and all that. They've got it over these coppers. The coppers are clearly tired. Even that break hasn't helped them recover. No, that's totally right. But we just got to watch out. We stay on side. No silly penalties. We don't want to give this game away now. It's coming down to the wire. About 8 minutes 30 to go. Another clear tackle there. They've just made it over halfway. Good tackle there by Tadic. Passes out to Nick in a very clean jersey. So that's very interesting. So Nick's come back out. They're trying everything at the moment. Brought him down again. Let's see what they do with this kick here. He's gone the opposite direction. If he can wrap him up here. Okay, kick up high. This is a pressure kick. Mitch looked around. Oh, there's a, oh to one of their players. That may be, oh, knock on from the police. Knock on from the police. That's what it looks like it's called. Play the ball, Polecat. 7 minutes 58 to go. Hopefully we're looking good here. Definitely the call we wanted. Uh, that was a little bit free. Uh, you know, we shouldn't have been playing for that. Just let the coppers take it up. How that copper was allowed to make a tackle there from clearly an offside position, I don't know. But look. Totally it's... agree. As long as Benny holds on to that ball. And here we go. We've got Dennis running again. He's been running all day. Fabulous game by Dennis. If we can just hold on for this last minute. 7 minutes 30 to go. Anything can happen. As you'd expect, though. Here we go. Tadic has made a good, good run-up. So, Polkats have gone a bit to one-hour football here, but nor could you blame them. That's Been a exactly very, right. very taxing... Oh! Oh, another big hit there. But then the policeman came over the top. But he looks like he may have injured himself too in the hit, but... Robbie, mate, you've been going hard all day. If this is the end of your day, you have done absolutely excellent work for the Polecats. Great heart there. Tell you what, they obviously don't like his singing the way they target him today because they've been absolutely brutal to Robbie. They have, but look, he's up. He wants to get back in the line, and he's going to go again. He's a tough guy. Seven he minutes is. to go. He's almost ready for another run here. Ah. One thing you got to respect about Robbie, he's always trying to be a better man. To be a better man. <laughs> He's going to play the ball now very soon. Here we go. Off to Freddie. Freddie flicks it out to Ben. Ben's been running hard as well. Off that kickoff once again. That was a great run back. Showed what kind of game we want to play in this last seven minutes. Polecats about three minutes away from halfway. Just cross halfway. Put the kick forward. Put the Okay. Good chase there on the winger. Great tackle. Great tackle. Push them back into their own half. Six minutes, 58 to go. This game's down to the wire. No silly penalties here. And hopefully... We hold him down here. Got to watch out. We're a bit short on this left-hand side on defence. If they push it out here, they've got a few numbers. These guys just need to number up. Comes down to this part. This is the whole season. Third tackle there by the police. They're about 38 metres out from their own line. Just crossed the 40 dust then. On oh, no, push back. Oh, he's Got popped it out there. I would have said that was held, but the rest of play on. They just crossed the halfway line. 
Two tackles left. Six minutes, 24 to go. All right, we go to number six. Here he goes. He's popped it inside. Hopefully there's no gap there. Oh, he's almost cleaning up. No, he's still going forward, but a great tackle there just underneath him. But they're getting a lot closer. Six minutes to go. Polkat's got to watch her defence. Fifth and last tackle. Puts a kick through. Charge down. Our guy Corey didn't lose the ball. Well done. Almost lost it there, but we're very lucky. Fantastic effort there by Royce. He had a lot of pressure on him, but he took the ball with complete confidence. Dennis doesn't make many yards from that scoot there, but, you know. Maybe we're just trying to keep it safe now. Royce, that was an excellent take from Freddie. Goes to Luke McDonald. One of the big bobbers come in for a big hit, but he's still going forward. No strips in this one. The sloth has made a good 15 minutes. Oh, he's still going. Still going. Fantastic, Evan. Still going. He's always been into the halfway line himself. That was a clearly a 25-meter run there by Luke. We're going forward here. Here we go again. Oh, he's popped it up. Oh, no. That may be a mistake. Force pass there by Carney to Freddie. Knock on five minutes to go. This is a tight one. It's coming down to the wire. Like we said, we just need to hold on to the ball and hopefully get take this grand final home. I was very unlucky if Freddie had, you know, if the pass was a little bit better and Freddie was alerted to it. Who knows where we could have been, but it's all right. That's right. We probably just need to hold on to that one there. A bit more safer play, but you know what? These Polkats have been doing defence hard. We're at the halfway line. They've got 50 metres to make. They've been struggling this half, and hopefully they keep on struggling. Five minutes, 11 to go. West Sydney will get the loose head, of, uh, loose head and feed on this one. Burjo blows time back on. Passes out from the base of the scrum. He's obviously taken the halfback positions this year. He's been injured. A great tackle by Mitch there. He put him right on his back and he's getting pulled back here. Up for the next one. Here we go. Hopefully some more strong defence. If they can lose the ball here, we can maybe almost say we'll put this in the bag, but don't want to get ahead of ourselves yet. Copper's been tackled. Second tackle, 47 metres uh, so 47 metres away from the Polkats line. Good to, good scoot there from dummy half from the West Sydney side. Third tackle now. Passes it out. Oh, that was a big tackle by Bruce. A good run by Bruce there. Oh, we've got a call against uh, the Polkats. They may be offside. I wouldn't be surprised they go for the yeah, kick. No, we it's could offside. be going next week. <sighs> Are they going to take the run? It's very surprising here. Oh, four minutes to go, but you may have may take the run. They're, they're pumping up here. Taking the tap there. About 38 metres out. No kicks for them. Anyway, they the want field. to come back next week. They've got their trip on Wednesday. Great defence, Polkats. This is it. This is the time. Nick Hyde, number 11, West Sydney side, tackled there brutally. Polkats, Polkats numbering up. They've got a lot of defence on the right-hand side. They're sort of shorting on the left. Us in. They've got a lot of players. Hopefully wrap up the ball here. That's about tackle number three. Two to go, guys. Let's hold them out. Come on. Play the ball. Pass out wide. They're side. going the blind side. Oh, no, they're come back in. In. They haven't got many runners here, but they're, they're running into it. each other. Offloaded. Who's Off it going to? again. Games like this, can, anything can happen. All right, I reckon that's about the fourth tackle now. Fourth tackle. Pressure needed by the Polecats here. They need to hold on to the ball. Ball's just popped into the big bopper. Hold him up, guys. Come on, this is your year. This is your grand final. Fifth and last tackle. Fifth and last. All right, let's hopefully we hold on to it here. Is there a kick? Going out wide. Oh! Oh, it on him. There we go. Fantastic work there by right, the Let's Polkats. see what the call is here. If this is out by the Polecats. That's a knock-on called by West Sydney. Absolutely brutal hit there by the centre and the wing of the Polecats. Got him out on the sideline. If we get the ball back here, we could almost call it game, set, match. As long as the Polecats now hold on to the ball. Tadish comes out to regather the ball. It's going to be a tough... Go it's going to be a play of the ball, 20 metres in, 10 metres out by the Polecats. Just need to hold on to the ball here. Safe play, very safe play. Oh, he's just called time off, 2 minutes 37 to go. 14 12 in this grand final, second half, extra time, grand final. Royce plays the ball, Freddie passes it out to Luke McDonald again. <laughs> I'll tell you what, has there been a play this guy has not been involved in? An absolutely remarkable effort by Luke. The heart from this guy, he's just going so well. I just hope they play safe now. Great, Great run, run there by Carney. It's Come Carney, on, is it? Yeah. Ooh, not quite sure. That dirty, that jersey's not dirty enough for Carney, I don't think. He's no. been involved a lot today. He's put on his back. All right, two minutes, 11 to go. 14, 12. This game is a nail-biter. I'll tell you what, I've got no nails left. 
Here we go, down the sideline. We don't want to be taken out here. He's popped up a ball, I think, maybe. He's popped up that up, Menzies. I didn't it, see that. It did look like a pop-up ball. Unfortunately, the light here is not too fantastic. We pass the halfway line. Tadic puts a grubber along the ground. He's clearly going for the sideline. And we've got, what, a minute, a minute of 47 to go. Oh, All right. Tense oh, moment. Man. Police are trying to pack a quick scrum here. They want time off. Minute 41 to go. This is a grand final. This is what it comes down to. This is the whole year wrapped up. In this game, last minute 35, this is what they've done it for. Let's just stay safe, let's tackle them hard, and let's try to win this game. Come on, ref, play your whistle. Time still counting down. The ref hasn't blown time off. It's a minute 20 to go. Here we go, pass it back in. Kicks it early. Oh, the ch they're ready Comes for the down. Oh, oh, Scott Warbank on the ball. Scott, yes, he he that good. Minute 13 wow. to go. Polcats hold it. Be safe. That's all we need now. Be That's safe. That would almost be called a brain snap there by the coppers, you'd almost have to say, wouldn't it? It would be, yeah, but sometimes when you're on your last line of attack, you've got to do what you've got to do, and unfortunately, it didn't pay off for him. When it got dropped by Scott, you know what? Anything could have happened, but here we go. We've got 55 seconds to go. Hold the ball safe, and we may be in here. We may have a grand final in the past three years to the Polecats. That's amazing. So far, an amazing effort. Great run there by Robbie Williams. Clearly, no, sorry, Roycey. My apologies, Roycey. I... Getting confused with the numbers. Mitch calling for a call here. Last 34 seconds. Just keep it's it Carney. safe. Carney. Carney's got Carney. the ball. Oh, no, He's running through. Good Little gap. Hold it, Carney. That's good. That's good, mate. Nice, safe play. He could have popped it there, lost the ball, giving the coppers 20 seconds for a scrum. Oh, oh he's batting it down. We've got the ball. Six again. Six again. Tanis regathers. Runs back in. We've got 17 seconds to go in this game. One more play of the ball. One more play of the ball. Let's just hold this. Play it safe. Who's got the last ball of the game? No, we've still got nine seconds. We will, we'll go into one more play. One more play. It looks like all one out football from here. Here we go, Royce going up. And oh, that's we've got it. Here we go. Polecats have won the 2008 first grade grand final. Mendes, what's your thoughts on this? Mate, absolutely remarkable result. I mean, that is absolutely fantastic. As we predicted beforehand, extra time, tight went to the Polecats. Frankie, what do we think of the result, mate? I can read a game. You can, you can hear him going off in the background. Read a game. Listen to that's the Polecats. Here we go. I'm it. sure I might get that's tackled here or something. Crazy. Well done, that's guys. Well done. Crazy. Yeah, Cardi. Woo! Big effort. Here we are. We're, We're in the group now. Well done, guys. Good job, man. It's fucking huge, mate. It's fucking huge. We knew we had him. We knew we had him. Been waiting the last three years for these guys. We're in the amongst them now. These guys have done such a great job to get here. They've been the premiers all year. What a great job they've done, these guys. That As is you can see, look at this. Look at these guys right now. Look at these guys right now. They've done well. Wrapping up the game. Well absolutely done, guys. Held it in well. An absolutely fantastic effort here. You have to just say the effort the Polecats have put in has been absolutely amazing. I mean... It has. To come into extra time and win 14-12, the heart was in this game by every one of these players. Even from the police side, they put their heart into it too, but at the end of the day, Polecats, just too good. What a great two teams in this grand final. Couldn't have asked for anybody extra. Definitely absolutely brilliant game. Let's go speak to the Vice President of the club, Scotty Carruthers, and just find out his verdict of the game. Scotty, Scotty! Okay, let's see if we can find Scotty, Scotty, a few Vice, words, Vice please. Vice President of the game, what do you think, mate? Oh, sensational. It was the kicking. It was all in the kicking. Mitch Gardner kicking. I could say that almost wrapped it up. I'd say that won the game. Adam Durant, what do you think of the result, mate? Oh, fucking terrific, mate. Fucking big effort all year from the committee, from everyone. Fucking terrific. Fantastic result for the club, for a club that's worked so hard. Can we have an Taria? interview, Tari? Interview, interview. What are your Fantastic thoughts Fantastic right effort today, mate. Thank You're surely going to be happy with the result. Oh, bloody cheering, mate. It was hard fought effort. Oh, the boys just lifted today. We come off of a big flogging from the guys before, but we've matched up, we've manned up. The forwards dominated today and it was a good game. Awesome, awesome. Thanks a lot, Thanks a lot. And here we are, captain of the Norwest Polecats, scored the inspirational try that meant the difference in this game. Scotty, you, mate, you've got to be bloody happy with the performance today. Mate, you couldn't ask for a better bunch of likes than what we had today. We're down, we're out, fucking Gaz, our leader, and the forwards. Didn't play much today, but he fucking put his heart in for everything. And, mate, we could let him down. We had to come strong. It's a tough game, but jeez, I'm going to be sore tomorrow. Back an awesome game. Top two teams, but you guys came away with it. And then right at the end there, when you went to catch that uh, ball that went up, what were you thinking after it slipped out and then you regathered it? Were you thinking, thank goodness for that? Oh, I'm thinking, that is a full time yet. I'm bugging. <laughs> <laughs> I had nothing left, but nah. I was here. Yeah, I had to make up for it down there, so it was 
Hey, Lloyd's well, can't describe the feeling right now. Awesome. Go to the Polkats! Go join him with the guys. Well done, Scotty. Scotty. had a fantastic performance. Fair credit to you, mate. Ben Carney. Ben Carney, Hi. can we get a word with you, mate? Mate, absolutely amazing effort out there. Mate, you were involved in just about everything. You've got to be happy with the result today. Uh, it's a grand final win. I think the answer is yes. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> nice okay, one. very much sold short there by Ben Carney, but fantastic. obviously you didn't put enough effort that he's still able to cut us down. Oh, well, I was just earlier in the game there that um, he didn't warm up for the training, but I guess he was saving the effort right to the end there. Oh, Tuffy, Tuffy what Tuffy. are you up to? You want to have an interview? Here we go. Tuffy, uh, mate. But happy about today? Yeah. Oh, fucking awesome, boys. Awesome. Good game, man. Good, good win, running. Good win, eh? Go the Polkats. Yes, go, man. good work, mate. Sema, got to have an interview with Sema. Mate, after 2006, Sema, what does this today mean to you? Oh, it was awesome, man. New boys, new era, new season, just a new game. Everyone lifted. It was awesome. Exactly Mate, you, you got to be happy with it, how everything came together today. I mean, you guys were clearly, you know, the conditions favoured the police and all that, but you guys never gave up. Oh, we were much smaller than them, but, man, it was awesome, man. Everyone lifted so much, even the smaller players, you know. It could have happened in either way, but it happened. Happened our way for this time. That's well done, it. Summer. No worries. Thank you, boys. Yeah, and let's have a word now with the assistant coach of the club, Darren Hartman. Mate, you coached two teams. Two grand finals, one win, one loss. You've got to be pretty happy with how you, it's all going. Mate, it's great. I just got a text in. It's coming in now from uh, Brian Smith. He wants me to... Um, Here we go. We won 14-12, extra time. Yeah, so mate. from the Gold Coast, we've got Brett Lennox, <laughs> the uh, uh, prodigal son. Oh. <laughs> so, Brett, Brett, what do you think of the result? Very good. Oh, come on. A bit more effort than that. Very fucking good. Oh, I think he said F and excellent there. So, yeah, F and excellent. Oh, we're going to let Darren join the boys now. Fantastic result, guys. All right, now let's go over to the presentation. All the guys are over there. Their spirits are up. Couldn't say anything more about this game. We couldn't have got a better grand final than that. No, definitely. Definitely could not get a better grand final than that. That uh, will be presented by Tasma Terry from the uh, New South Wales Rugby League. That goes to Luke McDonald from Norway. Yeah, hey, Lukey! Player in the competition, and I hope I pronounced the name correctly. Goes to Nada from West Sydney Bulls. <laughs> Yeah, oh, mate, hundreds. Yeah. And the club championship trophy goes to UTS Sydney. Matt Guerrero, if you come up and collect that on behalf of UTS. Congratulations to uh, those recipients. And thanks, Taz. And I might get... Uh, Terry Liberopoulos from the uh, Rugby League Review magazine to present the uh, Grand Final Awards. And uh, first up, if we can call forward the referees, receive your medallion. Referees, please. And if I could call forward the uh, captain of the runner-up uh, West Sydney Bulls, congratulations on a mighty effort. Uh, it was a fantastic game. And uh, if I could get the West Sydney Blues uh, captain up to say a few words, and then we'll present the team with the medallion. Uh, I'm actually speaking on behalf of our captain who unfortunately got taken off. Mate, he's uh, mate, the oldest bloke on the team, probably mid to late 30s, and every training session every week, and the fact that happened today is just a uh, massive shame. But uh, congratulations to Polkats. Been the uh, four people here. Boys out to us. Great effort. I mean, week in, week out. Wednesdays, Saturdays, we don't know who's at the train, who's at the game because of work and shifts and whatnot. 
Hold your hands up high, boys. You've done yourselves well, done yourselves proud, so uh, all the best, eh? Well done, well done, mate. Mate. Boys, just start coming through. Collect your thing. <laughs> I think it's only appropriate that the uh, coach of the uh, runner-up team uh, has, a, has a few words uh, to say to his side. First, first of all, I'd like to congratulate the Polkats. Uh, so, I suppose um, in football gods terms, they didn't shine down on us today, but in the reality of it all, they've been the most consistent side all year, and we've got to acknowledge that. So uh, they're well, they're well coached, well drilled, and they kept turning up, and we knew that. I'm very proud of the boys here. We've had a lot of injuries today. You can't make excuses at football. And as I said, I just wanted to echo uh, the, yeah, the oldest kind of ability. You didn't deserve that, but that's football. So I uh, appreciate everyone's support out there. Anyway, congratulations, boys. First year, you did well. Very proud of you. Thank you. And I'm sure everybody here uh, joining her and wishing the best for that player uh, who was injured and uh, a speed of recovery. The uh, Premiers, if I could call forward the captain of the uh, Norwest. Yeah. You're going to be right to pick that up. <laughs> We have one more award uh, before we 
There's no heroes in that game, boys. Everyone pulled up. Gary played a nice, tough game, very injured. We had Gregory pulled out before the game, so look, there's a lot of other players that could have got it as well, which is fucking lucky. Mate, I might your modesty. As some of the people watching this might not know, you played today with an injury. How's how'd that go during the game? Ask me tomorrow, mate. It's Ask fucking time tomorrow. now, mate. Fair enough. Well, congratulations, Luke. Go enjoy it with the boys, mate. Thank you. Polka TV. Thanks, Jerry, mate. 